kicking one, like Dolomite. Two, three, Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like Dolomite. Five, to be sure. Hey, one time, Last you ready? Got copyright. Yeah. Last one got okay. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab it still. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for him. When it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. And ain't no captain around here. Cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's life between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon Wheel Podcast. Look, look, look. King of the castle, like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead. Talk to him real quick. Oh, the Dolomite is my name, and sick enough, my upper thoughts is my game. Dolomite, my upper thoughts, you heard him. Claim it, a strike to claim it. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game so tight, it's like Jordan one lays. Hey, we stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Come on, Lost Ain't was cute. Hey, and yeah, it served its purpose, but I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these against before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jack in the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak dissing, that's that stuff that gets you banned. Last time we told your fair was squad up, you turned telling right go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30. The game turn me the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Hey. 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 Developers, Dust developers, developers. 40 clips, kicking like Dolomite. Hey, 40 clips. Aimed at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip, they need to get on a fight. Body fight. guns and body counts, that's, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? Huh. What they say, huh? Hey, hey what, what I say? Put hey, I put them in the dirt. Toss to get hurt, no face, no case. Match up like a jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vent, I won't get back. Time to pay that debt. Weapon Wonder what weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. What weapon well we keeping it true, don't care what you feels. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What Weapon well, they watch our move, they copy your style. BG, Black Bond, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blaine Drew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watching, they copy our every move, and they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying you hop off the roof. Long range, no scope, yeah I'ma shoot. Just like wanna play games, no David Blaine, but I make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black master will step out your lane. Every week it's us on your screen. Every weekend we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Trace to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG my dog, he told me let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and still. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and still. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our move, they copy and stay. We got the guns on deck, no foul car, but you know I came with a tech. Yeah. Since 2015, been stepping on the seat, putting foots on next. Yeah. Set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up. Shooting out the Yeah, we catching up. We about to game. Like, show us just how you feel.
weapon well. We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well? We keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch how I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Mic check, mic check, what up? Chat, let me know if y'all can hear. Alex, speak to the people real quick. What's up, what's up? Okay, okay. Um, Right now there's an image of Black Bond on the screen because the video for the podcast is still rendering. I need like three more minutes and then it's gonna be done. So I decided what I'm gonna put up on screen, put Black Bond back in the day. Looking like a, looking like a, what does he look like? He look like Earthworm Jim. That's not nice. Oh, we getting, a, uh, we getting that special MP3 today? He, he kind of looks like a street performer, doesn't he? Um, a clown? How old is this picture? You know what he looks like? He looks Yesterday. like when you say what's up. It looks <laughs> like when you say what's up, he'll be like right back at you. That's what he looks like he's saying. <laughs> Maybe smack his ass before he walk on. Yeah. Yeah, he look, in that picture, he looked like he say Heine. Like he like he just say some weird shit that would make me feel. Like does he? He's at a he has a chain on in this video. I just realized is that a oh. chain? Nigga, you ever yeah. had a quarter? Go to the quarter machine, get a couple of. <laughs> I wonder if he still has that chain. I know that drink. My fit. head, my head dropped back then. Y'all hating? Back of his you neck right? looking like okra, nigga. His chin as long as a goddamn bill on his head though. That joint crazy. I fuck with Bond, but yeah, man. This is when people started saying he looked like Drake. Jack, yo, don't he look like? Like an extra in uh, one of the extra East Side boys. <laughs> that nigga like he'd be like, extra and uh, say the last dance out this moment. <laughs> that nigga looked like he was a, a stunt man on making a band with his. He coming to room for one more. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, they use him like... as a drumstick. <laughs> he was definitely in the. Um, he wanted the know, instruments. He's not even a singer. They just... the, the the snap era of music headed. when they was snapping. Oh yeah, it was. He was in oh, the background. Damn. You know, I lean with it. Then I rock with it. That was Bond. Hey, you cool as hell back then, man. I fuck with it. That's a cool cat, bro. We we the hat sideways, yo. Listen, you know how 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 nice you got to be to pull off the hat sideways. You know what's crazy? He couldn't he couldn't walk too fast. It was gonna fall off his head from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even a hat? That might be his hair. You know he had afro back then. Yeah, that looked like the the lid of a trash can, nigga. Like, what is that nigga wearing? <laughs> <laughs> nigga dressed like a Mega Man character. Nigga sleep, nigga sleep on his chin, ninety degrees in the air. Big ass chin. I like it. The lady, he's gonna be like the ladies love it though. You know how I know that yes, nigga was taking sir. a three guard to his whole head. Look how thick his sideburns are. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be able to see your fucking sideburns from the front, nigga. That's crazy. It's a beautiful man right there. Don't he look like yes, if your mother said, "Yo, we got Joe Budden at home." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got what you said. Hey, Black Man, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Yeah. <sighs> How you doing, dog? Yeah. <laughs> we have Joe Button at home. Come on. Come on, Bond. I gotta hear you. I gotta hear you groan and uh, the fact that you gotta be here after your Eagles just won. I know you'd rather be at a uh, the local Applebee's celebrating with Tammy and all the other Eagles fans, man. All right, the video awesome. rendered, so I guess it's roasting time is over. Oh, Roasting so time is over. There we go. It's just the gun. Talk to him. How about those Cowboys? Go ahead. I'm excited. I mean, I hear the Cowboys are winning right now. Unfortunately. How how is Philly BG? Uh, <laughs> coming have... into the neck, coming into the neck of the woods. Don't let anybody know. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I could have had you and the wife over for like lunch or something before the game. Uh, nobody Negative knows where you city. live because you slander every city and state. Actually, you know where I live because you sent me the mail for the taxes. So stop lying. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. You see, you see this? I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> he knows exactly where I live because he has to have my address for tax purposes. I, I, that that could be this your mailing address. I don't know if you live there. It could no, just be a mailing. Oh my god, this is wild. PG, do you not? Do you really not want to be his friend? See, no, I, see, I really you know, didn't think about that. 
See, he he could have him and his wife could have came over. It's too late to say. It's too tell to read. We could have had yeah. a nice. We could have had a nice little brunch. You know, they could have actually left their car at my place. They could have taken the train straight to the game and the train straight back from the game. That way, they wouldn't have to waste their time and all that parking and bullshit. See how this BJ. Jack, you think uh, every holiday they get surprised that Ryan finds out where they were because they they try to get the <laughs> This is crazy, man. BG, why you do, why you do that, man? Like that again? Somebody scream out the window. It's the second, the, second, the second time in as many months, BG. Can we t- can we talk about uh, it? Bro? I am not avoiding Bond. I'm not. I'm not avoiding <laughs> them. Man. No, like I said, I don't know where you live. I'm like, well, fuck it. You, 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 he knows where everybody lives based off the taxes that he spiles at the end of the year. Vaughn had his combo every Christmas and Thanksgiving. You know I exist. You fucking know I was here. I was here last year. I, I mean, I do have this conversation with my family because I am born December twenty third. I have the forgotten birthday. Damn, this is, this just got real sad. I got yeah, you I next know. time, That's Bob. Crazy, right? Next year we said that last up. time. That's crazy. Yo, bye-bye. chill. Bye-bye. 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 He's out of control. We no, we oh, all I'm really linking up next year, guaranteed, without yeah. a doubt. I, I, I mean, I'm not trying to link, but I'll meet you. Oh, come what on. the hell? You, come on, bro. Hold on, what you what, hey. what you thought that man? Hold on. Only women. You only link with women. Wait, what I thought of... li- I thought like linking was like hooking up. What type of neck of the woods would you talk about? You thought about BG said he wanted to fuck you next year, boy? Uh, that's what I, he said. He said he wanted to link. I'm not trying to be no sticky link. <laughs> oh, you want to love you out loud? What the hell going on? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, why, why does somebody have some deformed version of me in the Discord? That is not you. That that is like the great value version of me. Who Drake Watson? Oh shit! I don't know if you want. You need, I don't know if you want them claims. You need twenty dollars. Yo, know. first of all, we we didn't, I need to talk about this for thirty seconds to admit it. It's bad enough that niggas be simping and giving these ethots money, but y'all got scanned by a dude. Indeed, he just wanted yep. some water burger. Like, damn. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, at least Smooth loses his money honorably. This was an amazing Shit. grift by him. You got to give him credit. It was it was kind of a fire grift. Like, like, like what it. was the, What was the donations asked for? Food. <laughs> I mean, he technically did buy food with it. So should he? Okay. Here's here's, here's the thing, right? If somebody told me, okay, what, what's the one guy, Silver Sky, or what's his name? Yeah, yeah, Silver Sky. If something like that happens and it's catastrophic, yeah, there's like a family emergency, your house blows down, you're a hurricane, medical emergency, something like that. I don't mind donating money. But if you just hungry, nigga, get a job or go on a <laughs> diet. Sell a brick. For real. Like, like, like uh... I remember when DSP Gaming was asking for donations and the niggas got a house, two bends in the garage, a triple minor set up. Oh, before you ask for donations, maybe you should sell two of those monitors. Maybe you should sell some ass. I don't know. Yeah. But like that's just wild for just, you know, like barring like a catastrophic natural disaster or medical emergency, like dudes should not be asking for money. Because I think Damn, what he Bond, did... wait, Bond, you wouldn't feed me if I was hungry? I mean, I'd feed you because you. I'm looking at my long term profits and situations. I, I nothing could happen to you, Smooth. <laughs> Smooth, if you had a medical emergency, I would drive you to that bitch. I can't. Ha- I can't have my money making mule die on me. Because from what I saw, what he was doing was like, you know, he was hitting up a whole lot of people and telling them, "Oh, I just need a little something, something, not much, you know, a little ten dollars if you could spare it." It seemed like that. So like he did that with a lot of people, and that's how he came up on a whole bunch of money because he. Hey, oh. does Shokyo know about this? <laughs> oh, no, I don't think so. You, you know what story I'm about to tell, right? I know what you're about to say. So his brother was the ultimate person in destroying anybody he deems an e-beggar. But I remember a young 17, 18 year old Shokyo. He said, I have 20 something thousand subscribers. And if everybody could donate me just one measly dollar. I would be good. Now, this nigga did the same thing, except for he ain't get one measly dollar. How, how much total money did he get? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I heard over a thousand. Did anybody, somebody in the chat got to know. Oh, you're talking about Dre Watson? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh no, they say he got he got over three K, three to yeah, four K. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. And here's what's crazy, right? And is that what he really looks like? He looks like a great value version of me. Yes. So damn. Think about <laughs> think about it this way, right? And I always say that women live life on easy mode. If this ugly deformed version of me can scam oh, men no. at a twenty five hundred dollars, some fat ass ugly chick could definitely easily get five to ten. And a regular average to above average chick? Yo, I, I seen a Twitch stream where this chick said, Hey, honey, somebody just donated $100,000. And you know what she said? Not thank you. She said, have fun being broke. Like, it's just so wild. Like, dog, like, could you... Yo, if we think about it this way, Jack. Despite, you know, our podcast being... Three fifths obese. I appreciate you, Alex. Thank you for yeah. staying in shape. I'm trying. I'm trying, Bob. It, even if we if we were all black women and we had three Lizzos and two Cardis, yeah, you can Cardi, Alex, we would still get a hell of a lot of donations and Patreons just because we'd be women. Our, our, our Patreon would be five to ten times larger than what it is right now if we were all black women. Mm. Jack about to go put on a wig and become like Jack Shisha. I mean, Jack, Jack Shisha. Shisha. Jaquisha, I mean, I mean, Johnny. I mean, if it, if it helps the Patreon, I mean, you know, smooth what we so, do. Uh, hold on, you, I mean, if you want to do a sex change for the Patreon, I mean, go go for it, man. That's you. I mean, you know, smooth what we doing. Uh, I mean, yes, and the wrong dude. I, mean, I know I'm asking the wrong dude, but am I asking the right woman though? Huh? huh? <laughs> what we doing? <laughs> what we doing? Yes, sir. Can we start the pod? Y'all crazy. Movie, get that uh, five, get that five. Why do why do we not have uh, the Mech Warrior Five DLC as a topic? Yes, I know nothing of Mech Warrior. I mean, you have a uh, BattleTech aficionado here. Okay, well, you'll tell us about it. Uh, let's start the podcast. All right, um, Weapon World Podcast episode three eighty three. We're on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, if you want to support the podcast, go to patreoncom slash uh podcast. You can also hit the join a uh, join button on your screen. Uh, YouTube channel memberships. Uh, we got After Dark on uh, on on Patreon. Um, you know, Planet Xbox. You can get that early access to the Discord. All that good stuff. Hit the like button if you want to submit a video to be featured during the podcast. Link is in the description for that, and link is in the description for everything else. All right, let's do these intros. Smooth. What's up, everybody? It's the best spot. All right, Jack. What up? What up? What's going on? Alex. This is Dre Watson's Taxes. I am officially a chef bubble on Foam Stars. Tap in. Oh, yeah. I, I would report this nigga to the IRS immediately if I donated him. <laughs> I'd be tagging the IRS right now. You think now. he paying his taxes? Come on, though. I'm, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I would report him. I, I, show. I think if it comes to, like, frauding and stealing, like, flagging and cinching is necessary. You get a pass. Okay. Uh, was that your intro, Bond? No, my intro is quarterback play is not elite and not at an all-time high. You know what? Mm. Today, I'm just going to agree with everybody. How about that? You're right, Bon. I'm just going to agree with oh, everybody. Oh, okay, Jack. So you got free reign to go off on because I know you guys are about to battle today. He said he won't agree with everybody. I'm not, I'm not yes, battling sir. nobody. I'm having civilized love, you know, civilized. love. You know, you know, you know, I'm, in, I'm in the civilized conversation today, BG. Yeah, Let's show me you too. Going. Yeah. That's, Speaking that's of civilized, that's my I didn't know. Speaking of civilized, how's that flooding up there? You and the wife good, BG? Uh, yes, we're quite fine. Not, I heard. Not, not I I did not know this, I and mean, I guess I should have because they live in sewers. But I heard that rats are good swimmers. Can you confirm this? I mean, I could Google. I could Google it. I don't know firsthand. I mean, you can't just look outside. Oh, hilarious! Mm. Well, I keep telling y'all. Rats are not walking on the sidewalks in New York. I know y'all want to believe that, but that's not how it's going down. They're not just walking down the sidewalk. Okay? They're in, they're in literally the sewer system and in the subway. You know, it's not like I, I'm walking down the, the block and, oh, you know, give it, you know, you know, like, yo, what up, rat? You know, it, it's not going down like that. Okay. Thank Say, you. Yo, what up, rat? So it's yeah, not I'm like not a, seeing rats. No. Not like a Pokemon battle where you just turn the corner and it's like a wild raticate or a wild rat attack. No, no. I don't encounter rats on a daily basis. All right, well, you, fuck BG up. Uh, K Man. 
How's it going, everyone? Thanks for having me on, carrying the Cyberpunk torch. Um, excited to hear about what Jack has to say about Jim Ryan's situation, especially. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So let's get to it. Want to get out of here on a t you know, on a right on the right time, timely uh, fashion. Um, and there's not that much to talk about this week anyway. Um, so let's do this first. Um, some shit that nobody cares about besides Bond. City Skylines 2 ha on consoles has been delayed till 2024. Oh, no. Oh, oh devastating. That, that, that sucks to be you, clowns. Oh, you so won't get the runner-up <laughs> game of the year. But we are hurt. It's okay. You <laughs> should be hurt. hurt. We are. It's painful. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm devastated. What happened, what happened to that uh, doctor that said that, con that uh, PC is just... Um, a second-rate platform for gamers, Jack. I mean, wow, it, it's funny. I mean, I, I've been... No correct me if I'm wrong, Jack, but, you know, I've, I've been noticing a lot of indies and smaller developer titles either missing on the PlayStation altogether or coming later than other machines. What's what, what's going on? That, that is true. That is true. And, and like, y'all cannot care about it, but, you know, th this seems to be coming a trend, at least for PlayStation. Um... But yeah, as far as City Skylines goes, like, damn, that sucks for y'all, because City Skylines is going to be one of the most hottest games this year. Uh, Autumn, uh, please don't flirt with people while they're on my podcast. Thank you. Flirt with K-Man after. Hey, okay. Autumn on hard right now. What you doing, bro? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Don't distract people on my coming, podcast. Thank coming. you. You know. Well, well, I was about to say something. I was going to get this whole podcast shut down. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hold okay. on. There's... Does Autumn know who Alex is? Yes. Oh, no, it's Alex. Oh, yeah, probably, wears, yeah. I'm pretty sure. You talking about the dude that wears navy green t-shirts? Yeah, hit, hit him up, Autumn. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are crazy. Okay, um, what else we got? Uh, so y'all seen that state of play? Well, what people are claiming to be uh, the, the Kojima is working on a trailer and at the top of uh, the screen, People are claiming it says uh, uh, state of play um, Death Stranding 2 trailer. I can't, I can't make it out. And it really doesn't look like state of play to me, but people claim it looks like state of play. Is that really a topic? Yes. I mean, do y'all, because that could, that could insinuate that a, that a state of play is coming. You don't care about Kojima's games now, do, do no, you? No, but it might not just be a. Um, well, I don't care about Death Stranding, but it might not just be a Death Stranding specific. I don't think Death Who Stranding is worthy. Who cares about hey, State of Play? The people do. State of Play, Nintendo Direct, like all that shit is trash. When will y'all, when, how long is it going to take you? Like how many times, how many failures, how many disappointments, how many of these State of Plays without seeing Metroid Prime, without seeing a good Xbox exclusive, without seeing Factions 2? How long is it going to take? And then like and then like a Nintendo fan with a new console when they finally, finally show what you want. They're like, oh see, these things are so good, you just gotta wait to be like, no. It, like like if, if if anything, all these state of plays and Nintendo Directs, they're not for the consumer. They're for the investors. They're not for us. I don't know why we keep thinking they are. So do y'all think it's, it said state of play or no? No. I think it's that state of play. It literally was a four. It was a word underscore two letter word underscore four letter word. I mean, I don't know what else it would be. Okay, I couldn't make it out. That's why I made I, it I, out. I zoomed in on it. I'm Coach Mo's computer it. said, "You could figure it out." Well, okay. State I mean, y'all like Death Stranding? Ain't y'all excited for the sequel? I love. I, the story. I probably, I probably end up playing it. <laughs> okay. Well. See what the enthusiasm around here is like for Death Stranding. I don't give a damn about it. And, you know, I dumped on I Kojima see, enough. I can see how some of you can like it. You mean you got the baby in the stomach already. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Hilarious. All right, what else we got? Uh, I mean, we might as well talk about Foam Star since it's on screen. So I didn't get to try this out because, I, you know, I wasn't home this weekend. Um, but the, listen, every, ever since we saw the game... I said it looked like garbage. It looked like trash. Oh, it's not the podcast. So you were in Philly all weekend? Oh, my God. That's not Yo, the topic. You <laughs> it was 
wasn't just one of them. I think it was uh, a he could, uh, he had a couple oh, days. He could have for that. Say, that's oh, crazy. Oh, my God. God. Hey, BG, next weekend, make it right, man. Yo, this, this, this man is wild. <laughs> make it right, BG, this, next weekend. Let's, like, let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. <laughs> this guy. He was like, was it whole, where, so where were you all weekend then, BG? Uh, what happened? So we talking about foam stars, not about me and my oh, weekend. Oh, my God. Hey, lock it, lock it in, BG. You see what Yeah, man, that's crazy. This shit is crazy. Bro, let's... Uh, uh, Can foam stars. the last thing from your bedroom, uh, BG? <laughs> let's talk about foam stars man Let, let's get some impressions who played it man give, give, give us give us the rundown um well i'm gonna let alice go first because i think you he's, first since you actually streamed it for content. i think i think alice might like it a little bit more than me um i played foam stars now when they first showed this game i thought it looked pretty decent uh me and bg actually got into a couple of debates i'm like bg you like splatoon there's no reason i don't see why you wouldn't fuck with the foam stars right <laughs> Uh, after playing it, uh, I want to say, firstly, I think I was, I might've been wrong and I apologize to BG because, uh, yeah, this ain't it dog. This ain't it. it. This game, I see, I see what they was going for, man. The execution is in my opinion, is fucking horrible. Right. Um, they went for like the Splatoon. It's like, I ain't going to even compare it to Splatoon because Splatoon is just a better game in my opinion, even though I've never played Splatoon, but it works right. Because like I was saying earlier, when you spray paint on a solid surface, it's just the solid surface with paint on it. But in this game, it's the whole mechanic is building up foam. So what the game devolves into is that you just shooting mounds of foam at each other, and then you just looking, you're just looking at a solid wall, a solid wall of mixed colors together, and trying to shoot people through. Uh, it's it's fuckery, bro. The the movement. Now this is the beta, so it might be different, but the movement is not as fluid as I thought it would be. It's kind of stiff. Uh, the only way you can run is with like a surfboard. Um, yeah, I just didn't have fun playing the game, man. I was playing it earlier. I had a little bit more fun today than I did with the first time I played it. Me and Alice was playing. It was okay, but uh, the game ain't it, bro. Uh, what else did I want to say about this fucking game? I like the music in the game. The music is pretty dope. The visuals of the game are pretty dope. I could deal with them. Um, it's laggy as hell. I don't know if that's because it's the beta or not. The game's constantly crashing. You can't invite your friends the way you're supposed to. Oh, that might be the beta though. Um, what else? What else? What I'm leaving out, Alex. I, heard, I think uh, that's it's it. not even like a turf war like Splatoon. Like it, it goes by kills, that not might by be a like. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Well, the mode that's in the game right now is called like Kill the Star or some shit like that. So what happens? Smash to each the star. Smash the star. Smash the star. Each team got seven spawns. Uh, once all them seven spawns are out, one the best player on the team will be will be given the role of superstar or whatever the star of the team. Then the other team has to kill the star of the team. First, the first team to kill the star of the other team wins the game. That's how they work. Uh, yeah. The maps, I don't, I'm not too much of a fan of the map construction. The maps are kind of small. But the last map I just played on, it was a little bit better. It was bigger. So, um, Jack, BG know. should be very good at the game because, you know, he's good at killing the star of the so-called star of the team. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're talking hey, about. Hey, you heard of, you heard of Jiggy League, bud? <laughs> why, why you ain't playing it, BG? So no, you no. good at this game. I don't get that reference, and I have no idea what you're talking about. You the, the Jiggy League, good brother? <laughs> But yeah, I think that's my overall. I, I I finally found the character I like playing with. I play with the little sassy, uh, the sassy bartender guy. What's his name? Barista door. I play with him. He's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the motherfucker wrong one with a coffee thing in his hand. You got a fashion. Other than that, man. Oh, I will say this. I do believe it's gonna be like a games as a service. I, I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. In my uh estimation, man, I get this game three months on the market. I'm not trying to be rude. I don't see people. I seen a lot of <laughs> I seen a lot of capping on the timeline for this game. And me personally, I don't feel like it's genuine, but it is what it is. This game is not going to last longer than three months. It will be dead on arrival. Uh, it's going to be just like Destruction All-Star. That game was dead after two or three weeks. I see this game having a similar fate. That's it. Uh, um, okay, let me get my thoughts real quick. Uh, when I first got the beta, I deleted it after 40 minutes. I wasn't fucking with it. Played by myself. I downloaded it again yesterday, and we was playing today. This is one of them games like Borderlands. I can't play Borderlands by myself, but I have fun with other people. Um, I like games like Rocket League and Knockout City where it's very close-knit teams and it has a high ceiling for... I wouldn't say this has a super high ceiling, but you can... Kiso and Benji and I were playing teams last night and take off. We was getting our ass whooped. Like, them niggas was going crazy. And then today, we kind of got our get back. Um, this is definitely one of them just kind of like pick up and play and casually have fun. I don't think it's going to be a premier multiplayer. 
Um, I think it's fun though, bro. Like we, the, the sense of speed, I agree. There's things that could change the hit detection, the sense of speed. Uh, it really depends on what character you use. Cause I was using a defensive nigga and I was, okay, I'm putting in work. I'm helping the team out, putting the foam out there. Nigga, like, the last five matches we played, I switched to the submachine girl. I got a fucking set, I squad wipe. Like, I killed the whole team by myself. Not, you know, with the help, but all of a sudden, I started going crazy where I'm, like, legit, you know, Benji was getting MVP every game. Now I'm sitting there getting MVP every time or getting all the kills. So it's really dependent on who you use for one. And I, I don't know. I think it's not supposed to be It's not supposed to be taken super seriously, bro. It's a fun game. Pick up, have fun, or whatnot, but... I'm not mad at it. It's something to play with people. So let me ask you a question, Alex. If this is, I, we don't know if this game free to play or a paid game, though, right? So let me ask you a question. For for example, if this game come out sixty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine, hell, no, even forty dollars, no. would you would you cop it? No, 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 no. And the, you compared it to Destruction All Stars. Destruction All Stars uh, issue was that the fundamental mechanic of crashing in the cars was broken. No guns. They're hit. No guns. Their hit detection wasn't uh, consistent. You'd hit a nigga hard as fuck, get 10 points, a nigga slap you on your ass on the rear, and the whole back of your car fall off, and you almost yeah. died. And yeah. And there, there was a lot of characters in Destruction All-Stars where it just, to, to me, I was like, them niggas OP, you know? Um, and on top of that, all the content was locked behind a paywall. They went from $70 to a free game, and then literally the quote-unquote story mode and all the other shit you had to pay for it like you had to pay per character if i if i recall correctly then you have to like pay for a person's season or campaign yeah, yeah, yeah. like they fucked it up um oh. if this game can keep it cool like a knockout city where you just if you want to buy battle pass cool get cosmetics but if they get the ranking system right and it feels like i can sort of kind of have a competitive that tracking and they have a rank gameplay and shit like that i can see myself playing this all the time to be honest and I'm looking at this, right? And like like Jack mentions Destruction All-Stars. And aesthetically, <clears throat> it looks like this game was made by the same developer. With, and there's like no connection between the Square Enix team that made this game. And uh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the studio that actually made um, Destruction All-Stars. But like, yeah, I hate, I hate the aesthetic. I hate the art style that a lot of these studios tend to like lean to when they're making a games as a service like wh- i don't know why that happens like why they all, all a lot of them seem to fall back the hell was that? to making this certain game with an aesthetic i don't know i, I hate the way it looks so i uh, i hate the way it looks. Man. we just came in real here. quick i agree i agree that's, that's this is me talk. bg it's just it's the it seems like they couldn't decide on what type of aesthetic they wanted to go with this game like even the loading screens are like this almost crudely drawn like cartoons and then it's 3d and then it's like a casino theme and then i'm like yeah some of the characters look more realistic than the other characters yeah. like anime inspired and then other ones look kind of like realistic it's like what the yeah, it's like it's like they blended overwatch and fucking knockout city combined with the menu layout of destruction also i, I don't know i don't know what uh, what's that word you be using the smorgasbord that's what it looks like yeah oh hey hard head played this hard do you, you feel differently it? Ah, so um, am I the only person in this whole chat right now that enjoyed the game? I just said, I just no. Alex, like, Alex like, Alex like. It. Okay, okay. See, that's why, I, that's why I fuck with Alex. I fuck with Alex. I don't. I personally don't feel like people are really giving it a fair chance, and and I think it's mostly just because niggas trash. I'm just gonna keep it a pee. Niggas are really just trash at the game. I've been playing a game with a few people in the Weaponwood Discord. Shout out to Freddie Savage, Opsy Figs, Diddy. And I forgot who the fourth person. It was one one other person we were playing with. But we was going crazy on the game. The characters all feel different. They all have their own little little quirks to keep you in the game. Like most of the time I ended up playing the um the dude with the shotgun. You remember his name, uh Alex? Uh Ad it's with an A. I know he's blue. Ad- no, 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 no. The 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 nigga with the Miles Morales haircut. Oh, that's oh, not a black dude. That's like a, that's like a bowling dude. ball, man. That's like a bowling ball cannonball type shit. Now he got a shotgun. It's another dude with a shotgun. That tall talking, white. You that tall white dude got a shotgun. White dude, shotgun, not the black dude. Because I was. Nah, they both. Dude. They both got shotgun. If you look it up, it's, it's gonna say his gun is a shotgun. He, he on the screen, I, right? He on the screen right now. The dude you talking about? Ball or does it shoot uh, like a? It shoot out like three balls, I think. Huh? The person you talking about is on the screen right now. It's a shotgun. He on the screen right now. Jet Justice. That's his name. Jet Justice. That's what I've been playing most of the time. He real good for like the the base mode because he has like an he has an ultimate that lets you put up a like a, a Titan bubble. If anybody knows about Destiny, yeah, it's like a shield, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, you can't shoot out. You can't shoot into it, but people can come in there and fight you if you're in there. Type That's shit. what I was saying. I was using him as a defensive. Like if one of our players got the star player, I would use him and defend them at the back of the map or wherever the fuck. But uh, you, when you switch up your character and you and you're more aggressive, bro, that changes the entire way that game feels. Depending on yeah, what like the, your team composition actually matters and shit. Niggas probably haven't brought it up at all. Team composition is a real thing in that game. Yeah. Like Wait, we, we I have bubble shields, Titan shields now. That's 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 the best way to that's the best way to reference it. You you played Destiny, right, Bob? No, I just remember Halo Three having bubble shields. I mean, it's the I same didn't play. I didn't play Halo, brother. I'm sorry, I can't can't reference that. Me, Kiso, Jack, and Benji were just playing. I think Jack, we lost our first two games, and then we said, "All right, everybody switch their character. We're gonna do something else." And we didn't lose after that because we, yeah. we were we were losing against teams that their characters just were able to spray more foam all over the ground. So we it's like we were landlocked. We couldn't move. Like we, the nigga was putting a turret and just getting a whole middle section with they foam. I'm like, bro, I, we can't even travel through it. Type shit. But yeah, that's what I was about to say. I feel like uh, at first one of my gripes with the game was that I didn't feel like the foam built up on the ground enough to where it separates itself from Splatoon. But the problem is you have to use a character that actually does that. Mm. There's certain characters like the uh, the little girl with the rocket launch. I can't remember her damn name. You talking she, about Melty? Melty, yes. Yeah, yeah, she okay. builds up foam crazy, oh, hell like, yeah. crazy easy. And the air like, strike. Like, yeah, they got is the game moves. too chaotic? Like it, just watching it, I haven't played it. Sometimes, yet. sometimes that's, it is. Jack, yeah, Jack, 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 I ain't gonna lie. This game makes me want cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want right now. <laughs> watching this. What y'all say? Ice cream. Sometimes the game is chaotic. I've had one match out of all the games I played. I had one match they went into overtime. That shit was crazy, and Man, it's crazy because yeah. we we was meant to lose. You know, niggas was. Go ahead. You know what else about this game too, though? I think if you playing this game and you ain't actually talking to your teammates, you're not gonna have fun, bro. That's I'm like, sorry, bro. That's what I started my combo with. You got it's fun with teamwork. If you yeah, you gonna have to play with people, stuff. bro. If you playing this shit solo, dolo, bro, you're not gonna fuck with it at all, bro. I do believe you need teammates. I don't agree that you need to be on the mic with them though, because I didn't. I didn't play a single match with somebody on the mic when that when we had like a full squad, dog. Hell and we no, was like, it's so much going. It's so much yeah. going on, though, bro. Like, yeah, does, we, does each character playing, have a special ability? Like, Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, you have three. Okay. You have three, three, three. Yeah, three different ones. When me and Jack was playing, we legit was like, yo, circle around, chase yeah, the I got him knocked down. Somebody come put a shield up. Like, that's how we was winning. We had to communicate where everybody at on the map. We had we had some unspoken teamwork, dog. I don't know how to explain it. Like we just it, it like it's just like we naturally learned how to uh how to co how to work together. I, and oh, I was about to say ahead. that's 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 how I feel like uh I feel like that's one thing that's going to separate this game from other games. It's like once people actually know the characters, it's going to be like that Overwatch situation where you just know that if you playing this character, you need to be trying to do this while this person doing that type shit. Go okay. over, yeah. over, you over, like, under, over, under. Like does, my character. does this game yeah. last longer than Knockout City? It depends um, on if it's free to play. Or how, not. Long, how long, how long, how long Knockout City lasts? Knockout, Knockout City, it lasted a minute, bro. I was, I forgot. How I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Uh, you know what? It, it depends I, on if it's free to play. I was gonna ask you, Hardhead. I was gonna ask you real quick. If this game costs any type of money, would you be interested in buying it, or you like it need to be free to play? Like it depends on how much. I I would buy it. It depends on how much. It depends on how much. Yeah, I spent twenty on it because the reason why Nick uh, Knockout City went under is because it went free to play. Yeah, if it's twenty dollars, I'm buying that. I'm yeah. buying it. Everyone that spent right. that twenty on a knockout, we was all on there. We was on rank. We was on casual. When it went to free to play, niggas mm-hmm. saw it as like. All the casuals are coming in, and Cheap they girl, coming right. in ranked and not playing well, and so it kind of put a sour taste in everybody. Now, if you they get... charge seventy dollars for this game, it's dead on arrival. Oh, no, yeah, they, they I, I think they know they can't do that. They saw you that get with slowed the down talk. when you're going over somebody else's foam, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Just walking on naked ground is slow too. Like okay. if it ain't yeah, no you... foam on the ground at all, it's slow. Okay. Yeah, you Uh-oh. have to use foam to get around. If you're not using foam, you're not going to be able to get around. But this is the thing: when you, when you get later on in a round. The whole map is so much covered in foam. Like when I was a star player, I was running around the whole map doing laps so they couldn't get me while Jack, Kiso, and uh, Benji was fucking them up. So yeah, like, that's it. It's, 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 as long as you're using the foam right, you can move fast, like mm-hmm. faster than Splatoon sometimes, BG. I, I promise you that. Knockout City was alive for two years, May 2021 damn, really? to, to June hey, 2023. Like, damn. That's okay, cool. no, it's not this game not lasting no fucking two years, right? I highly <laughs> doubt that. I'm telling you, if they if they beef up, if they 
get them animations a little bit more crisper, work on that hit detection, uh, stop pairing them nasty ass lime pink and green colors together so they on the same screen together. If they do a couple, it need more, need more modes, and need some compelling content. And they got like four. Well, they they got like yeah. four modes that we haven't seen yet. They got at least yeah. four more modes in the game. Uh, I'm oh, curious okay, to see okay. what they do because remember, this game isn't. This game's not coming to PC yet, right? This is not only know of. This, so they either got to launch oh, this shit straight into rival. PS Plus <laughs> because the last but, time they did a service game exclusively to one platform like PlayStation, you got what Destruction All Stars, and you got what else that. The, like the, I'm, pretty sure, the, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they said it's coming to. I think they said it's coming to four and five though, right? The reason I, I don't like the, I don't like that y'all keep bringing up Destruction All Stars because fundamentally Destruction All Stars just wasn't. Uh, it wasn't good. Like the hit detection is the entire premise of that game with no weapons. It wasn't good. Like right, was no, terrible, right, but Knockout hit, City was, was good. Hit. Knockout City was good. Well, the hit, the hit yeah. detection in this game ain't the greatest either, though. Alex. That's, let me, that's, let me that's ask you guys. Saying. Let me ask you guys a question because this is what I think when it comes to multiplayer games and why Sony also wants to put them on PC. Name me the last popular good multiplayer game that didn't start on PC, blow up, and then go to console. Mm, wasn't Counter-Strike on PlayStation when it came out? No, but I'm saying that start on PC. Fall Guys, PC. Fortnite. I'm saying, but it it, 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 it was on the PS3 in the early days, wasn't not, not it? A, not, not, not as the not lead originally, platform. but I'm oh, saying like, the most of the multiplayer games that people in gaming play now, actually, you, this is historic. I mean, you can go back to any any game, but like they start on PC as these niche titles, they get huge followings, and then the game gets ported to PC and it blows up even further. I mean, we can go from um, Fortnite, um, with the Fall Guys, uh, Rocket League was a PC game first, right? Minecraft, Roblox, all the biggest multiplayer games start on PC first. I'm kind of at the point where I'm saying if it can't find success on PC first, it's a dead on arrival multiplayer game. I can't really argue that. I'm yeah. I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I can't. Yeah. I never thought about that, but it just hit me. Like, if you if your multiplayer game does not succeed on PC first, it's going to fail. Folks in the chat said Rocket League went on PC first. Was on PlayStation first? Yeah. Yeah. It released as a yeah. PlayStation Plus game. You're right. You're right. That, that was like one of the games. But overall, like, yeah, the game's got to go on PC first. What about Apex? Apex was exclusive to PC at first? Not Apex, I think it launched, I think, I think, it launched I think everywhere at, Apex, at the same time. Shadow Dro- Apex was like a multi-level shadow drop on everything. Yeah, but again, that game is very popular on PC. I don't know many multiplayer games nowadays that if they're not popular on PC, they survive. No, I agree. You need PC. Yeah, that's that's, that's true. That's true. I think it's a big missed opportunity. Oh, I do think this is a good game for the PC crowd if they if the PC crowd had it. I think it's a. So good I do game. think. I'm listen. I'm gonna be real. They need to put this on the Switch too. They need to put this Foam Stars on the Switch. You, no, I, I actually, I actually disagree. I actually disagree. Nah, it, it's I, actually a graphically uh, sound game. To be honest, I don't think it'll run on the Switch. If if I, if I had Splatoon, uh, option between Splatoon and this, <laughs> this shit ain't gonna get no play on my uh, Switch, bro. I'd be on Splatoon all day, bro. Oh, to I mean, yeah, people are gonna prefer Splatoon, but to give it a chance, I think you need to like. They probably got some deal or whatever. Do, do y'all because look some of the PlayStation you know Jim Ryan um g- gas games are not all first party but we never get told when you know which games are the the games as a service that they were talking about could couldn't this be one of them because it's on PS5 only at first I mean technically yeah, it I could believe be so. I, I, I believe mean, it's one of them. It could, it could yeah, they be. never said they was first party. You're right. Yeah, no, yeah, some of them are going to be first party, but we, but they said some of them are going to be third party because I think this might be one of them. And another one came out that I think might also might be. What was that other game that came out that might might have been one? Hell Divers Two is going to be one. Is it? Is it? Maybe I mean, that's, that's technically that's technically a game to the service. Cause yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. Like, how do we know when they come out? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or are we just Hell gonna now, at some point or? they're gonna start talking about them and being like this was one of our games of the service. That's the only way we're gonna know. I mean, Hell Dive was always online. It, it's gonna depend on content drops. I would consider the games as a service. I didn't even see it like that. I just saw it as a game that don't end. <laughs> that um yeah. MLB the show would be considered one. Uh yeah. And they come yeah. out yearly, so there you go. 
Well, M- MLB the well MLB the show would only be a games and services. They've stopped making future ones and made it a platform, wouldn't it? No. Well, you could I consider like Madden and 2K games of service. Really? I mean, it, but they, uh, the only thing is they they reboot every year. That's the only difference. Like, yeah, I don't I don't know if that's a games as a service then, because usually games of service you you make one and then you just continue to support that certain one. Yeah, it's like, more like a, it's more not like necessarily. A it's got they they yeah. all built like it. They got all of the game modes, the microtransactions. The only thing is they just release yearly. That's the only difference. Yes. And if I, I had a finesse oh system, my God. all right. I miss the flow. You know, I'll, like I'll, I'll, I'll try out Foam Stars tomorrow. Right. So you ain't even tried to play it yet, BJ? No, I think, play, I I think the beta in the night, BJ. The beta might you got to play tonight. Play with us tonight. Okay. You got to play tonight, BJ. All right. I'll try it tonight. Then. Okay. Hey, if you need a squad, BJ, go live, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm on that tonight. You got there's actually some good players in the Weapon Wheel Discord. I promise you that much. Okay. Uh, all right, Horizon Forbidden West Collectors, it's not Collectors Edition, um, Complete Edition has been announced coming October something um, for, on PlayStation 5 and sometime in a, un, at an undisclosed time next year on PC. So it's been two years. It doesn't feel like two years since uh, Forbidden West came out, but it's been two years. And um, that seems to be the time right now that they're putting uh, most of these PlayStation exclusives on PC after the initial release on console. It seems to be about two years. Last of Us Part 1 was the um, was like kind of the exception to that. That was like a year. Well, not then. But Forbidden West come out in 2022. That's last year. Yeah. Was it? So, it, wait. Why, do I, why did I see everybody well, by, by the, by the, by the, by the time, by the time, by the time it comes... Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 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 it'll, be, yeah. It'll, be, it'll be two years. Yeah, you're right. So, by the time next year, it will be uh, two years. Okay. So I didn't even see no trailer on this. So is this pretty much just the base game with the DLC? Yep, that's it. Okay, I already got all that. I still haven't played the DLC yet. Oh, it's a good DLC. I gotta rebeat the game, bro. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I tried to rebeat rebeat the game, but um, they I, I hate the trophies for it. They made the trophies very stupid. It's just, it's, just, it's too much, bro. It's too much, dog. Yeah. So yeah, that's a long another- ass game. Another one going to PC. Nixes did this one, so that's good because you know the the original uh, Horizon that was done by that that other PC studio that's hit or miss. You know that 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 uh, PC version had a lot of problems, and then Nixes came in and fixed it up, I believe. So they're doing this one themselves. Next, um, actually, let me read some. Go to uh, Patreon and read the. Uh, Pay, the, either the trivia questions the or the questions sheds. here. Hey, yeah. BG, real quick, what boss are you in in Liza P? Uh, I just beat the Swamp dude. He was, was he? No, okay, I, I beat the Swamp dude and then the the Weasel? There's like a mini boss who's like a Weasel or something like that? I beat him. Bro, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that yet. I'm on the second to last boss. I think I've been beating my ass for like three days, two days straight. Yeah, um, that's what I'm up to. Great game. Right. How many uh how many health vials you got, Alex? Eight. <clears throat> I think I got nine now. How right. many area who whose gameplay that was earlier fighting that big creature thingy? That was a <clears throat> somebody submitted that one. I'm in that area, I just didn't get to that boss yet, but I'm struggling in that area where they spit and throw purple shit at you. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, the, the, the cathedral, the cathedral. Yeah, yeah man. You, you you know what I also hate? Like, okay. What are, are are the carcasses the the ones that look like undead, look like zombies, pretty much? Car- I thought car- I thought they were just humans, humanoids people. Well, that, those are humans humanoids. that got the uh, that have the what's the word, the plague. Well, I forgot the name of the plague in the game, but okay, the petrification disease. Petrification, yeah. Okay, because there's the ring that says do extra damage on carcass. I'm like, yo, I'm not sure which one of these enemies. Are any, 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 anything, anything that's not a puppet. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I, I, I would assume. I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that does that include bosses that's what makes it tricky you just have to throw shit and see what hurts the most because i'm i'll be facing niggas where the skin blue and they got purple blue veins all on their face and i'm like okay so i guess i use carcass or fire or acid acid i'd be confused too i'm like does it work on robots best or the people like i don't know i think it just it just depends i say put different shit on your sword pause bro and see what so Oh, we ain't talking about the patch. So they patched the capacity, right, bro? But yep. if I want to carry all my best shit, bro, I'm still heavy as fuck on that game, bro. 
Hell yeah. And my capacity damn near 30. Damn, bro. That joint is crazy, bro. Yeah, my capacity is like 18. And I only carry one weapon, bro. I still be slightly heavy on the game, bro. What? Using a heavy weapon. What? Like, you, you slightly heavy, Jack? Bro, with, with, with the best shit I got, yeah. One one of them rings is like ten. It's it's got a ten cup. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Wait. So no, no, uh, like, I got I got three amulet, I got three amulet slots. So I, I I switch out. Me too. I switch out the rings based on bosses. Like you know, just when I'm going through the level, I have like you know the 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 rings that are pretty light. But then I switch it out depends depending on the boss. BG, you're fucking sick. You can get what? more amulet. You can get like four amulet slots too. I'm farming right now because I just feel like I'm too low of a level and I just realized that all of them go up in price of ergo and for me to upload for me to update one skill point is 12,000 ergo for one skill point and yeah, you I'm was at, I'm at like 15,000 for per, per upgrade now nigga you get sick yeah are, are, you, level, farming, level? are you farming at Bar Malum district I'm at like 80 level? or something by now damn, damn. you hired me you hired me bro I'm, I'm 70 something bro I'm 76 yeah, I'm around that. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, Weapon Wheel Trivia comes from Dizzy. Thank you again for all your submissions. Who is the youngest esports millionaire? Is it A, Seth Abner, a.k.a. Scump? B, Tyler Blevins, a.k.a. Ninja? C, Jaden Ashman, a.k.a. Wolfies? Or D, Dominique McLean, a.k.a. Sonic Fox? So, uh, uh, the third guy. The third guy. I was going to say... I was gonna say that too. I, I have no idea who most of these people are. I'm gonna say, well, for sake of uh, for sake of being different, I'll say Sonic Fox. Fuck it. I'm gonna say Sonic Fox. That's the only thing that sounds familiar to me. Well, his name is Dominic. We can't really verify his name. I mean, uh, well, name. Ninja. You don't know Ninja Smooth? Oh, I ain't. I ain't. Oh, then uh, Tyler Blevins is Ninja. The third guy is the youngest. Okay. Uh, the answer is yeah. Bond was right. Uh, Jaden Ashman, uh, aka. Well, how do you how do you know this? Because nobody would nobody would ever name their kid Jaden after Will Smith. You must be a young motherfucker for that to happen. Wow. This nigga's logic. It's crazy. What game did he play? Uh, so in 2019, Jaden and his partner Rojo placed second See? in the Fortnite World World Cup, wow. in which they each split 2.25 million. Uh, dollar prize money for second place. Jaden was only 15 at the time. Hey. That's crazy. Damn. I mean, the only other Jaden I know is like that fucking kid in like one of the Yu-Gi-Oh animes, and he was annoying as fuck too. There you go. Was he biracial? I don't know what he was. I just remember him in the Abridged series. I never watched like any Yu-Gi-Oh outside of the first one. GX is pretty fire. Card games on motorcycles? Who the hell was that? Now, GX was the one with Jaden, the second season. Uh, this kid became I just a millionaire remember, at 15. That's yeah, nuts. I just remember watching a movie. I, I don't know, but like Kaiba like built a time machine to go back in time and face the Pharaoh. Like that nigga really can't handle you losing. He spent all of his money on a time machine so he could play a card game. Yeah. Uh, Weapon Wheel Question Crew. Um, Earl Walker. So after three weeks, Starfield is dead. No one is talking about it anymore, and Foam Stars is a hit. <laughs> Yo, you trolling? <laughs> Come on, bro, stop this. Come on, dog. <laughs> Foam Stars is a hit, and Starfield is dead. It, it is in certain communities. Hey man. Hey man. Y'all got to stop. Uh, let me read some su these uh, super chats. Um, Jazzy said Foam Stars beta is fun, and I really like it. I'll be there for it day one. I understand some critiques though. Okay. Uh, Ruffle Mutt. How come Ryan got the celeb treatment when stepping down, but Layden got the boot, got the boot uh, to, mm. and, and the middle finger? Layden must have had dirt on someone. Hey. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We? We'll talk about we? it. Well, I will. It, I will say this: Whenever management is shaken up with these comp with these gaming companies, good things tend to follow. This is exactly why I think Phil Spencer needs to go. Mm, okay. I mean, um, look they they got that. Well, they didn't get rid of that man, but he was replaced, and didn't take them too long to start doing much better. Yeah. 
Uh, K man, you want to talk about um cyberpunk DLC? What what is this DLC called again? What is Phantom called? Liberty? Yeah, yeah, Phantom. Sounds Liberty. like a Metal Gear game. Go ahead, tell us about. It this. actually does. Yeah, so uh, both the Phantom Liberty DLC and Cyberpunk 2.0, the update came out recently. Uh, and this isn't just your ordinary update. This is the definitive version of the game with a bunch of new features, uh, a lot of patches. This is ad ideally the way that the game should have been launched three years ago. Um, so right now it's in a definitive state. So if anyone wants to try it out, now's the perfect time to try it out for the first time. Um, just quickly running over the patch. A lot of the changes include the police system is more like GTA, more dynamic now. They don't just spawn out of nowhere. Um, the biggest change would be the skill tree. Uh, and before, it was just you, you take get perk points and you put them toward like stats and percentage increases. Now you can actually get different skills. Um, my personal build, which, which I've been running, is a katana wielding guy who uses headshots with his pistol. So I got the air, air dash perk. I can dash midair. There's like bullet deflection, like a Jedi. And there's finishers you can do to just chain through different enemies. Um, and there's also a big hacking increase. You could do a lot more with hacks. You can queue them up. You can use your own health for hacking. That was a big feature that at launch was really lacking. That was something that was promised a lot, which was you able to hack into people's cyberware because everyone has like cyberware in this world. Um, another other big change is vehicle combat was added. So this is both. You can use your own weapons while driving your vehicle, but... There are also specific cars with missiles and guns on them it's for uh, different missions, kind of like James Bond-esque, um, which leads into the, the Phantom Liberty DLC. It's, um, I guess the big overall is this takes place in a separate part of town. It's wall walled off called Dogtown. It is run by a warlord, and it's, part, it's like the, the place where it was was not accessible during like the main game, but everyone knew that that's where the, the DLC was going to take place. Um, and in that place, you, it's basically part of the main story, and, and it's connected to what you're essentially trying to do, which is curing yourself of the, the relic. And how it starts is the president of the NUSA is crash landing in this area. And because this area is controlled by this warlord who's ex-military, um, there's going to be a lot of people going at that place. So it starts off with you trying to save the president um, and getting her out of that situation. But that leads into this whole new like spy thriller slash cyberpunk hold up you said Spoken. her the president's a woman yeah it's a, it's, it's a woman interesting i mean yeah, in the year 2077 i'm sure i'm sure by then we'll probably get one um is, so, is she is she white or hispanic she's white uh i forgot her first name i think it's myers <laughs> i don't know why that's funny <laughs> So that, that leads into, um, it's, it's really cool mix of the, the dystopian cyberpunk that we're used to with the main game, but with a James Bond spy thriller story. Um, the story is like really well written um, with some pretty cool twists, a lot of new characters. Idris Elba is one of the characters with a big role. He's written pretty well. I think he's actually, he actually did a better job than Keanu in my opinion, but um, well, that's, that's, that's obviously just well, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a better actor, so. Yeah, that's, that is true, yeah. Um, and even, even Chinese character Johnny has some more lines, the way he reacts to everything. Um, I think he, like, the, the lines that he has in this DLC is better than some of the dot lines he did, uh, in, in, like, the main story. Um, and, and this main story is not only, like, the DLC doesn't include the main story as well, but you also get a lot of side quests within the, the new Dogtown area. And in my opinion, for, like, the, even the main, like, Cyberpunk, like, Night City area, the side quests had better stories and different narratives than the actual main story, uh, which makes sense because the, side, like the, the main story for Cyberpunk is pretty short. And um, Phantom Liberty, I, I believe you can get through the main story in like 10, 15 hours. I'm mostly done with it. I've been doing a lot of the side quests. And a completionist rat would be, I think, 30, 30 hours to do everything. Um, so I have a, lot, have a lot of fun with that, taking my time with it. Uh, those are all the positives, like which is the good writing, the, the new the side quest, the the new combat styles. Uh, in terms of negatives, um, I, I find that Dogtown is is like a cool area. It's it's kind of like a place that's been saw a lot of warfare. It's like pretty run down, um, but it is it is pretty small. It's and then, and the DLC itself is also a, a bit smaller than CDPR's previous DLCs, which is The Witcher Three's both those DLCs. Um, and other than that, it's, it's, it's sad that this is the only expansion for Cyberpunk because, I mean, I'm a big fan of Cyberpunk and 
Unfortunately, because of how bad the launch was, this is the only DLC that we're going to get. So they're already working on like the sequel for it, I believe. And I guess one thing is that it is pretty on the easy side, even on the hardest difficulty, but I could only be saying that mainly because my, my build is someone with the San Devastan, which is the, the, the thing that allows you to slow down time, like in the in anime, and cutting down people, getting headshots. So I guess it's a pretty Wait, easy I build. thought it didn't slow down time. I thought it sped up the user. The That's slow down of yeah, time, yeah. just how it, it perceives it to yeah, the watcher. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. Okay. Is is this the greatest comeback for a game ever? Uh, I think, in my opinion, yes. Just because I've experienced it from the beginning at launch, uh, the the one point six update, and then this one. Um, other than like this game, I don't I don't think I've been really big a part of some other other big comeback stories. I know that No Man's Sky had one. Oh yeah, um, that is a good what's one. The player, what's the player count looking like on this thing now? It's currently the second highest single player game on Steam, right below <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, which of course is game now, of the year. Let's um go Can back to something that Kid Smooth said. Kid Smooth said that, you know, Cyberpunk had a resurgence because of a, a TV show. Halo will have a resurgence wrong. No, no. Kid Smooth said that, you know, other games have had DLCs and expansion, they'll have a resurgence. Cyberpunk did. Halo didn't. Wrong again, Smooth. Yeah, it'll have its resurgence someday soon. So, someday. Yeah, and Halo, and Halo Infinite plus one, which would still be Halo Infinite, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Smooth, are you attached to Master Chief emotionally? Like, would you be okay with him dying? I'm not a, really attached. I, I, I don't like. I didn't. I. Huh. I didn't mind playing as lock. I thought that was fine. I'm not attached you know, to Master Chief. Okay. You know who is attached to no BG? All them white dudes with beards that play Halo. If he die, <laughs> them niggas gone. <laughs> they gonna send out an email at, we, at dawn. We ride. We lost them boys. Yeah, they they, 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 like, they, they, they like didn't even fire. need to kill him. They should just left his ass frozen for like three or four games. Built up this crazy threat that nobody could beat, and then the mission of one game will be to find the Master Chief and that fruit and his cryogenically freeze pelican and then it'll lead up to a huge ass game where master chief is back but no they couldn't leave their green sh oh he ain't even a green sugar daddy anymore because that nigga broke but they couldn't leave him alone for one game okay well um okay man thank you for that breakdown of uh cyberpunk glad it's doing well even though i'm one of the people who you know slandered it in the beginning, I didn't have nothing personal against the game. You know, I was just telling people what was going to happen. Glad to do you it. You tried BG. Have you played it? Uh, no, and I never will. No, I did. I did actually. Oh. At the when it very first came out, I did try it out. Um, but then I refunded. Another, it, you know, another game. You now you see how BG is getting away with this. He no longer ducks it. He just he just refunds it. What you eating, bar? <clears throat> he re, he refunds the game. I'm uh, loading shit in my dishwasher. He refunds the games. He don't what? even drop it anymore. That's a weird way to say what you eat. Exactly. He thought he was slick. Like, what? Like, why you eating on the pie? Man, that's a violation. Look, good, I'm allowed to eat if I want to. No, like, you're wow, not, fatty. Wow, I'm no. eating on the pie. Wow. This is legendary. If I, if, if I want to eat, I can. It's no, you, no Alex, you can't, fatty. Alex, Alex is allowed to eat, too. It's the rest oh, of you. Oh, I, I, I see why we can eat. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying. Sure, BG buddy. doesn't drop games anymore. He just refunds them. He just fucks them. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, refund, not yeah, fuck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else you got on your radar this like, for, for playing right now, but I'd recommend getting back on it, BG. I think you'd like it. Okay. Um... Yeah, not I just don't. Bro, I'm a, no, yeah, I'm not. Now. Yeah, I'm not. It, I just, <laughs> I just don't. It, I just don't think it's my type of game. That's what it is. It's not, you know, my type of game. Yeah, that's fair. That's all. Yeah. You know what my biggest issue with Cyberpunk was the skill tree. Um, I don't mind a big a skill tree, but using a skill point for five percent buff and there's like four levels of a five percent increase. I'm just like, what? I don't want to sit here and do that. Like the skill tree was so spread out. I never truly felt like I was changing my gameplay, other than like the obvious one of one skills, you know. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite change they did was making it so like you still get those bonuses, but instead of like the skill tree, you get it just by using your different weapons and making it so the skill tree is just for like different skills such as 
like the like I told you, the blocking bullets, the dashing, mm-hmm. and a lot of other ones like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Hideki K- Kamiya is uh, leaving Platinum Games. Good riddance. Shout out to him. Salute. We salute him. Hold on. Is he leaving or does his contract expire or did he get fired? He's leaving on his own volition as far as we know. Good riddance. Salute. No. No, no salute. Um so but but Jack, do you and I and I don't like to pin, you know, the whole culture of a studio on one person, but do you think it's possible? Well, I don't think their I don't think their DNA changes because he leaves. Like, so you probably still won't like them as a studio, right? You don't think. Uh, you know what? You change. know what's funny that the good the good games that they did have it was probably he was probably responsible for most of those. So <laughs> it's only going downhill from here, brother. Unless unless he was one of them weirdos to where he was ruling with an iron fist and he ain't want motherfuckers making changes to shit. It, it fucked up the morale of the studio, which is a possibility because he was a fucking dickhead. Um, I don't know. Are they going to keep that 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 good old platinum games luster, BG? What do you think, brother? I mean, my favorite. I think they're the best game they ever made is still Vanquish. I I, I believe that's their best game. Um, so I don't I don't know. I think they should switch it up because you know a lot of their games do start to play the same. You know, so I, I don't but know. That, but that's why people like them at the same time, though, right? We might not fuck with them, but they're 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 type of frantic you know action-based gameplay is what got people liking them in the first place so if they switch it up too much deviate from that hey man well i don't know bro maybe they should keep it hey if it ain't broke don't fix it man um i I also think that him leaving is something is something coming like i don't know like they're uh, not a shutdown, but maybe an aqua. Maybe they're being acquired. I don't because you remember they remember yeah. they were, they were begging to be acquired like a like a year ago or so. But didn't Ten- didn't Tencent invest in them or somebody? Uh, maybe it's it's a miracle that they haven't been acquired or shut down yet. Actually, if you think about it, because uh, I'm surprised they was never folded into like Square Enix or purchased by Nintendo. I feel like those are the two logical places for them to land up. But uh, Cause hey I, man. I, I feel like they're I feel like they're closer to being shut down than acquired. Like cuz this did like financially I don't think they're doing that well. They not, bro. They bro, the only time they have money is when they get funded to make a game for somebody, bro. They be getting yeah. flooded out, bro. They don't have yeah. like money like that. They they're don't the own industry, no IPs for real. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're the industry prostitutes for licensed games a lot of the yeah, they time. They don't got no IPs. They ain't got they be getting removed off projects. Like Yeah, um I don't if they get shut down, I honestly wouldn't be bothered much. Um, I really wouldn't be care. I, really I, wouldn't, I care. wouldn't give a fuck personally, but that's just yeah. me. Uh, somebody will will see value in them and and probably acquire them and bail them out though. Oh yeah, I, they ain't even owned by Sega. That's crazy. Sega, Sega don't even want them, and they make bad another for Sega. That's crazy. Um, Hate to see it. Yeah, Nintendo should just take them. I wouldn't be mad at that, man. You know, both. You know what's crazy, though? I'm going to say this. I know people are not going to agree with me. I don't think they meet the Nintendo seal of appro- uh, quality of approval, man. I don't know, dog. I don't think they up to snuff with, with, a, with a Nintendo developer, dog. They not, but they will get whipped into that shape. That's what I'm saying. Or they, they, nah, man. If anything, they can. I don't know. Man. They, they ain't there, dog. Shape. Okay. Um, shout out to Kamiya. Even though he's so you DA. think his move because you thought his move was a big deal so um i think you think either microsoft is acquiring platinum or he's joining uh, xbox to start a venture there i think one of the two things are occurring now where are you getting this from smooth yeah just a hitch you, no, easy, there, is that well, wouldn't, wouldn't that be the better thing for microsoft to i mean microsoft to do instead of buying companies which you can't really do wouldn't it make sense just to poach talent and make no, their own because studio they, with Japanese they tried, people. They they tried they with the initiative. You see how that's working out. Well, I'm just talking about Japanese developers. Oh, well, like, Jap- okay, yeah, Japanese. Get a whole bunch. Get get come here, Get a whole bunch of Japanese guys. Fly them over to America. Like, hey, have fun. Well, some people were making the connection that um, so Hideki is is leaving Platinum. Shinji Mikami had had left. Uh, Tango you know, Game Works. Tango Game Works, and these two used to work together before, like back in the day. Some people 
Oh, they linking back. I mean, that'd be kind, that might be kind of hard. That uh, might be the move. I ain't gonna lie. Because you know they they could be you know the the move is leave your big studio, make your own stu- smaller studio, and you know that's the move. So aren't they heavily know. involved with uh, Resident? I know well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, buddy, created Resident Evil. Shinji, but I think, uh, he, didn't he say he was retiring though, Shinji? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he specifically said that. I don't know. I think we just know he he was leaving. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Salute Kamiya, man. Uh, great guy who blocks everybody for no nothing. I'm it's crazy. actually like, not blocked by him. I'm actually not blocked by him, believe it or not, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, I don't say nothing to him. Like, yeah, he, like, why does he block people who compliment him? You could be like, yo, you're my favorite developer, and he, like, blocks you for it. Well, he said don't tweet him in English because he'll block you. He don't fuck with that. Oh, crazy. Yeah. He's nuts. All right. Um. I'm- yeah, he said like that trans actress or that trans porn star looked like Bayonetta. That shit was wild. <laughs> hey, shout out to him, man. Yeah. Um, Epic Games announced that they are laying off 800 people because they are uh, they have spent more than they have earned. Yikes! Wow. You saying? Oh, uh, you saying they? Well, it was rumored that they shut the studio completely down, but they said they fired most of the Fall Guys developers because you yeah, know they own by the games. Now. Yep. Yeah, so most of all, that's crazy. So, so, Jack, what you're saying is the fall guys were the fall guys. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, you man. won't, hey, Bob, you're at a Diggy League, brother. That was, that was one of the ones. <laughs> the fall that's guys are the fall guys. Absolutely, man. Shit crazy. Yeah. So, um, I saw this report. So, there's been a lot of layoffs this year. Even though it's been a, like a great year in gaming for gamers, there's been like a lot of layoffs this year also. Like Epic. Like I just said, they laid off laid off over eight hundred people. EA also eight hundred. Unity six hundred. Niantic two hundred thirty. Sega two hundred. CDPR Ubisoft. You know, Deviation almost damn near shut down. Riot Games. Yeah, um, been a lot. Microsoft Amen. Embracer Meta. And that's all this year. It's a uh, video game development is a very volatile, uh, volatile industry. I would say, especially all your make, of... especially all all your make is G S. G S. That's what I'm so calling it now. Uh, I, I oh, okay, okay, okay. That's actually. Oh not yeah, bad, gay, gay ass anal sex. That's what you used to call it. Oh right? uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. You fuck with that? Okay. I mean, it's it's, it's, cre- <laughs> it's creative. The the G S. One, the first one or the second? No, 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 okay, no, no, the, the, the G S. When wait, right, cool. wasn't that on your bookmarks on your PS3 that one time you? No, yo, no, that was wild. I remember that. Why are y'all making? Did you the first up? thing you got embarrassed for watching porn? That shit crazy. That, I was not, but I'm telling y'all what happened, like, and y'all ain't want to believe me. I it and it came up automatically. Then he said, "Who's on my PlayStation? What the hell?" If your if your predictive text says Pornhub after you type P, nigga, that's a horny Bro, system. I, right I'm there. telling I'm telling you what happened because I would. That's it's beneath me to watch it on a PlayStation. That's how Family I know I didn't do it. Sir, 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 I used to watch Pornhub on a PlayStation. I'm here. Yeah, to tell you, that's you're that's nuts. You're like, you're why lying. would I would do that on a PlayStation? Oh, why not? Watching porn on an OLED. Come on, bro. The, like, yes, sir. When you, when you become a grown person, certain things are below you. That, that's that's like that's poor. That's poverty watching. Like, you can't do it on BG, a PlayStation. Ty- so you blaming Lisa? When she do it, who typed it, bro? Who typed I, I don't. I don't know how it happened. You know I what? Go know ahead and blame happened. her, bro. Go ahead. She gonna she go, just gonna get back to her. Go ahead. I don't and blame know her. how it happened, but I I hey, you right. know I treat myself better than that, and I'm going straight to my laptop and, and hitting up that web browser, bro. I'm not doing it on. Why, the y'all, why don't y'all use y'all's phone? Why do you use your laptop? Nah, Who the fuck? Nah, you got you got to get something, going. Bro. Yeah. Next topic, Jesus. Who the fuck watch porn on a phone? Y'all new age niggas. That's what I'm. So can y'all weird. treat yourselves better than this? That's what I'm talking about. Like you have a cast your shit to your screen. You have a cast your shit to your TV. Why are jerking off that are married? First of all. Why not? This is hypothetical. Self care is very important. Tell me. <laughs> Look at BG if I wanted to pleasure myself. This is... Yeah, this is hypothetical. And this is before. This is back in the day. I'm just saying now, if I did, I'm definitely not doing it on a PlayStation and not doing it on a phone. Like, shit, if I was in a relationship, I got to jerk off. What the fuck I need you for? Mm. Wow. I-, I never thought about it like that ever, Bond. <laughs> ever. Y'all are crazy. I forgot the topic. Yeah, like you, you wild for it. I don't know that. As a BMC hey, man, three, you still on a phone, a Alex? You might as well just watch it on the on the Switch. Answer. I'm not about that life. <laughs> you don't like, like, watch porn, brother? No, nah, I used to be addicted to it when I was like younger. So oh, I just shit. stopped cold turkey and haven't touched it since. Give it up since then. 
A nut rag almost cut your dick off. Why did you know you was addicted? <laughs> You know, no, the nut, rag, the nut rag started walking and talking towards him. Yeah, they don't get a little, they don't get a little <laughs> sharp after a while, man. You almost cut your dickhead off. What happened, bro? What the fuck? The, 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 the rag became, became a symbiote. He started. <laughs> <laughs> Joe stuck to that nigga like Spider-Man. <laughs> you start fighting crime, you know what was going on. What's that thing from? What's that thing from Alien? The face grabbers. What's a face called? hunger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again, stuck to a nut rack. Next man, topic. Hey, hey, man, not denying none of this. That's crazy. Next topic. I'm going to stop beating my shit too. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a wake up call right there. <sighs> Negro <sighs> wake up call. Y'all are man, sick. I tell you. Uh, Capcom said they're not interested in being acquired by anybody. So that's a good thing. Shout out to them. Why, does, why don't they reacquire Platinum? So why did they accept a billion dollars from the uh, Iranian government? Or Iran- why, what, yeah. why wouldn't you? If a, nigga I mean, showed, yo, if a nigga showed up on a camel and said, here's a billion dollars, you going to tell me you ain't On a camel? That, then ain't that part ownership? Ain't that getting ownership of them, though? Y'all ownership? just going to let Vaughn slide with that racist? <laughs> racism? I mean, I, I, mean, I, I just... I just I they got camels in Dubai. Have you, ever, have you ever rode a camel before? But <laughs> for you to say... <laughs> they're riding on a very, camel with bags very, of money. Uh, very illustrious and righteous and oh my God. luxurious way to travel. Okay. Unlike these petty, oh yeah, Saudi Arabia. Horses. What the fuck? I said? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. A- a- yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If somebody all said, "I will give you a billion dollars for ten percent of your life," knowing that the government here full well owns half your life, you wouldn't give it. I mean, me personally, of course. But what I'm saying is, if you're not interested in being uh, acquired at all, I mean, you, you're selling out parts of your. You mean, nigga, you would know. you would sell a finger for a billion dollars? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm not Capcom though. You might sell your mouth for a billion dollars. Whoa! He, he what you, what you trying to get into? Up, I, I'm trying to figure out what's, what's your bank account looking like. Trying to find right out now, your boy. value, Jack. Jack. Hey, hit <laughs> hey, my DMs. You might, no, play, you might play a gas game for that billion. Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you say about be playing gas? That's crazy. <laughs> no. Uh, what were you talking about? Ain't that right, know. K-Man. No idea what we're talking about, but um, oh, some ransomware group claim that they hacked Sony and uh, we they? haven't we haven't uh, gotten more details since then but nothing has happened like PSN hasn't went down and so, no no information has from the now dark web right, has Jack, been out yet I don't know Jack the juice man said for a billion dollars he can buy himself a whole new mouth he ain't wrong he definitely not wrong <laughs> shit I'm with him on that one and specifically ABG. they said they um they they hacked 6,000 files which apparently isn't a lot but go ahead so, but this is my thing. When 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 PS Plus originally became mandatory in 2013, people saying, "Well, you know, if we if we start paying for it, it will be increased security, right?" Which I I did agree with. I I believed, and actually, PSN did stop going down as much when it went uh paid. But they just raised the price. How you raise the price and then they get hacked? Like they they stopped doing the increased security. What's going on over there, uh, BG? Uh, I I would not know, sir. I'm I have no experience in cybersecurity, and I okay, don't know okay. what type of cybersecurity firm PlayStation well, and Sony uses. I'm gonna say this. I hope the hack was true, simply because I have my credit card information on that. Well, if you're if you're signed up for, for PSN at all, you're entitled to um some compensation once this comes out to be true. So everybody, man, celebrate right now. We finna get this clash action lawsuit popping. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful, bro. It's gonna be beautiful. I hope somebody try to hack my PlayStation credit card too. I hope somebody try to hack that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna get even more money. I can't wait. So yeah, it was six thousand files. Um, but apparently it wasn't like anything like juicy or interesting. I don't know, but <clears throat> we'll we'll see the severity of so, it. So they they hacked Sony's internal documents and couldn't find nothing worth. It. <laughs> they, they, they couldn't find nothing. <laughs> I mean, bro, do you realize? Bro, uh, we haven't gotten no information. I was like hoping like a game announcement would come out come out of this hack or something, but that's low key scarier than the hack, nigga. I'm I'm more worried about them not having nothing interesting. They didn't see nothing. Interesting. Like that's worse than the hack, nigga. Damn. That's like niggas leaving their car door unlocked. What you gonna get? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Imagine hacking a company like Sony PlayStation. You ain't got nothing worse. You didn't see nothing that was like y'all know such and such coming out. Damn, bro. Yeah, and six thousand right. files for a whole company like that's yeah you didn't hack enough. Um, like all, <laughs> yeah, all go of us in, got go back in, man. Y'all we, we we got all of us got six thousand files on our computer. You know what I'm saying? Like and man, go I back mean, in. I got, I got more than that on the irrelevant files alone. Yeah, 
Yeah, they got to go back. <laughs> like, real talk, yeah, yo, yo, go try like, again. Like, for real, rehack that motherfucker. Y'all need to do the job, bro. Yeah, yeah. Y'all got to run that back. Yeah, spin the block. Spin the block, bro. Man. Uh, Hyenas has been canceled. Um, this was Se- <laughs> this was Sega's. Is this another GS game? Yes, this was Sega's GS game that never actually came out. They did Bro. allow people to try it out at like conventions, I think. Um, and they decided they it seemed like they were pretty far in development, but they decided, yeah, we're gonna cancel this and we're not gonna release it anymore. See, this is crazy, right? First of all, I got two things to say about this games as a service game i got three things to say about it, actually this game kind of even though it was a different uh viewpoint i think this was like third person it does remind me heavily of the fair games trailer we saw at uh, that playstation showcase secondly i want to say it's crazy that a uh, games as a service game got canceled before it even fully came out this shit was still in beta if i'm not mistaken so for them to just cancel like that just show you how bro games of service bro is not the answer bro it's not the future bro thirdly i would say that sega i commend them for canceling it right because most 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 devs and publishers, man, they would have put this game out and let that motherfucker die a quick, slow death, and then just been sad that they lost all the goddamn money. So, I I, I commend them for it, man. They saw this shit one hit, no nothing. They said, "Hey, man, let's cut all losses while we're ahead, man. Get it the fuck yeah. out of here." Um, here's what I want to say about this, right? Because I want people to know that if I had the choice, I would be fine with multiplayer games as we knew them, which is just um a game you know you 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 get the multiplayer how it releases and maybe you get like a gun and map pack along the way and another one a year later and that's how the game is for forever nah. into eternity no but but hold on i would be fine because the only alternative to that is games as a service why would you are you saying you'd rather have multiplayer games built like they used to be yeah i'll be fine with that if it if it Stop the show, Jack. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> but Bond, I'm you only, just I'm, said I'm, everything I'm only now four. is better than it was before, and now you no. said I wish things could go back to the way they. Sir, <gasps> I've, I, I, sir, I won't say nothing, Bond. I've, 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 I've always, I've, I've always right? said We've been saying this thing for the last months and months and months and I, months that multiplayer games were way better, and, and BGs I've up here. Oh, first-person shooters are better now. Shooters are better now. Fighters are better now. Oh, now God. he's saying, "Why can't we go back to the good old days?" Ha- have have a question. Have I not been saying multiplayer games? were better than I've always said that it was single player games I said are better now. I've always said no, that. You know the- Jack, handle this. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue. Be just, I've uh, always said multiplayer said, games were better that. before. I've never, you know, I've you know, never you know, denied no, that. Definitely did not. No, I, you bro, said multiplayer games are better now. I'm going to get the weapon, the weapon wheel, you know, archivist to go and find me saying that multiple times because I'm on bro, record saying that. You literally said that even fighting games now are better in reference I, Tekken Seven, which is a good game. Don't get me wrong, but you. 1,000% even mentioned fighting games are better now than they were in the arcades in the Golden Age. The Weapon Wheel librarians will find oh me saying God. all the time that multiplayer games were better before. But, and and um, Rezo Works says, nah, BG got caught. No, oh. no, they're lying. People Mad don't Bur- listen. Mad Birdie, yeah, BG been saying that for a long time. Yeah, he's agreeing with me. I've been saying that. No, but yeah, now we're confirming that you did say it. That's the no, we're, there, he's confirming that I always said that multiplayer games were better before. It, it's oh. single player games that I've that I that I oh disagree with y'all. That oh, it's not. So yeah, anyway, this is this 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 cap is bigger than Smooth's head. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> y'all just don't listen to me, man. Like, listen, y'all just don't listen to me. It's cool. It's cool though. Uh, BG, going back a little bit on topic. Um. I think them times is over and dead, man, because the whole point of games and services is to not minimize your, you know, if these devs want to sell a one-time purchase, they'll do that. They not, bro, they want to monetize their shit, but they want to make I it know. a platform, bro. But, yeah, but like, I, I don't think we're ever going to get that ever again, bro. But here's, but it, this is what I'm saying, right? People think I want games as a service games because I want games as a service. No, I, I want games as a service because that's the only way to get multiplayer games now. They're not giving you multi, they're not developing and giving you multiplayer games how they would. So what yep. option do I have? I have to accept it in this package. No, that, that, as, that, that's, that's, true. that's true. As G ass. Yeah, but if you if you gave me a choice, yes. no, I'll, I'll take the multiplayer game how it was that that has like two or three 
gun packs and multiplayer packs and it stays that way forever. And I'll, and I'll just keep playing it like that. But I don't have a choice. So I'll take what they give me. It's, it's kind of crazy that they are shying away from that old business model because when you do it like that, you know, you just drop the multiplayer, might do a couple of patches, but you can wash your hands of that shit after you release it. Like, that's low key, let's work for them. Like, I don't know. I'm, I feel I'm like not, it's, it's a happy medium they can do, bro. I'm not one of these people who believes that like a multiplayer game has to be supported forever. I think if you release it, give us a few patches, a few, a few updates, I'm fine with that. I don't believe I'm something not, has to live I'm forever. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. It, but it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. But, they not uh, with that though. Yeah, they're not. And but it's like, <laughs> so what are we going to do? And you know what's funny? To, yeah. You know what's funny though? And even you bringing it up, bro. If you look at all the games that die the quickest, bro, they're all games as a service, bro. They have the shortest legs out of any type of game, bro. People have been playing, people have been playing and talking about shit like God of War, Zelda, any other, any single player game you can think of longer than they ever talk about some shit like Hyenas, Foam, Star. These games do not last, bro. They're literally doing the exact opposite of why they're created, bro. How is nobody seeing this shit? It's fucking ridiculous, bro. De- <laughs> Evil Dead game was dead called- within a year. Like, come on. That's why they're called GS. And that's what we got to start calling them. Hey, buy, hey, y'all get by credit for that, man. G ass games, all right? We ain't games to serve no more. We not gas. It's G ass, all right? Yeah. Nigga, I just had start to the myself. day. As, start yeah. the day. As as a multiplayer. I just had this nigga. What? Go ahead. My bad, my go ahead. No, I'm saying as a multiplayer fan, I have no choice. This is what it's evolved into. This is the you know, multiplayer games by default now. Um, because what multiplayer game have they released? That it's has not games been, of service. Uh, games of service. Um, I can't think of one in recent memory. So, I'm, 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 you know, I'm pigeonholed into a corner. I got it. This is how to how I got to accept it. You know, so it is what it is. Alex, you want to say something? No, I just almost screamed. Oh. Well, don't do that, I had, to, I, had this, I had this boss uh, last one hit, but he threw some shit in there that hit me before I could do this, the parry stun with the red where you got to press R1. Yeah. It oh. hit me as I pressed it, so I got to do the entire I'm a, fucking battle I'm gonna put you again. I'm going to put you off on some sauce with that, too. Shout out to Ford Cruller because he taught me this. So you know when the, when the health bar is blinking, bro, you ain't got to do the powered up move, bro. If you get the shot put, throw it at him. I automatically st- automatically stun him, dog. You ain't even got to do the really? R2 charged up. That's I the, noticed that. that. I noticed that's that. That's the sauce. I'm gonna give y'all shot the four cruller. He put me on game. That's the sauce. Mm, Just so y'all know. Okay. Nigga, I'm right. fucking distraught. All right. All right. Well, uh, rest in peace, hyenas. And dead before we knew thee. You will not be missed. Yeah. Um, Gran Turismo Sport is being shut down. That's the previous uh, Gran Turismo Aww. game. Uh, they're shutting down the servers for that. Uh. So yeah. Um. State of Decay 3, there was a, a screenshot that came out that showed the game's release date is 2027, but that could just be a place a damn. placeholder. That could just be, <laughs> that could just be placeholder. It, it, Nigga, it didn't they be, announce that game like three or four years ago? What 20, the hell? It was announced 2020, and we haven't God, heard about it. Damn. And we haven't heard about it since, um, since that one trailer. No update, no nothing, haven't heard about it. That could be placeholder, though. You know? So Man... I'm all for transparency, man, but announcing the game seven years out is fucking insane. God damn. Yeah. Jesus. So we'll see. That that could just be placeholder though. I'm I'm not gonna actually believe 2027. That's a weird placeholder day, don't you think? It is. <laughs> no, man. I'm that's very that's very specific too. Like it is. It why is. would you just stop at 2027? Why not go to 2030 if it's just a placeholder? You know what I mean? It don't matter. No idea. Very specific. I don't, um, know. I don't know about that. One. Sekiro has hit 10 million copies sold since 2019. Cool. Nice. Great. Well deserved. Yeah. Um, it, it's. I'm going to say that's not that. It, if this was another game, people would roast it for taking four years to sell 10 million. And uh, especially with the fact that it was a literally game of the year, and game of the year usually boosts your sales. So I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree with that. I, I'm just, I'm just saying people usually roast because this type of stuff, you know, 
the thing about Sekiro though, uh, I haven't even fucking beaten the game. I got to, I got, I got like halfway through the game. But bro, this is not no easy game, bro. Like this game, a regular gamer is not buying this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like for this game, it's like a niche title. So for this to sell 10 million, I think that's pretty damn good. It's this ain't good. no fucking like. This ain't like no Spider Man to where it's pick up and play and you have to be down there mentally retarded not to be able to beat it. Like niggas ain't beating this game, bro. But niggas Elden Ring wasn't moment. pick up and play. But Elden Ring is easier I, from from what Souls fans say. Elden Ring is the easiest Souls yeah, game, though. Uh, yeah, dog. As soon as you got that hoar frost, you could just stomp the shit at anybody. And that's what I'm saying. I, so I just think it deserves more. I think Sekiro is a better game than Elden Ring. And the Elden Ring got that Elden Ring got that 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 um that word of mouth going. So that and that's that outsold every FromSoft game, uh every Souls game combined yeah, yeah, at that yeah. point. So yeah, it just had that, that hype just, behind it. Yeah, I just I just think it deserved more. Like I just felt like 10 million in in its four years, especially it being game of the year. I'm like, y'all, y'all were not supporting this game how it should have been. You know, like I'm not shitting on the game for how much I just I just think gamers should have supported it more than that quicker than that but you know i'm Shit. surprised 10 million people can beat that motherfucker to be honest with you yeah all right um so we got uh final fantasy 7 ever crisis is going to pc that's the mobile game um but it's going to pc so that's yes. good i mean i'll probably play it now that it's going to pc you know slap final fantasy 7 on anything i'll probably play it I ain't gonna lie to you uh, aside from that, let's see what else is the Meta Quest Three was announced. Nobody cares. Alex, do you care? No, sir. Oh well. Got PSVR, baby. What's the difference between the three and the two? What better? What what are we doing? You know, the stats? Got more cameras on the front or some shit. I haven't looked into it at all. Probably higher BG. resolution. You got, you got the stats, BG? Why you bring it up, brother? You got the stats. I, I, it's, listen, I saw the announcement. I was in Philly for the weekend. I didn't, you know, do my research on everything. Hey, oh. I told you that nigga was in the <laughs> Philly for the weekend. That's great. Hey, BG, I just seen a, an interesting comment. It says, so BG would play these mobile games, but not Midnight Suns. All right. Hmm. Uh, is it really a mobile game if it goes to PC? If it came from mobile, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I, no, I agree with you. I just wanted to see if I could like get get away with that one. Hey, you 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 tried it. You tried it. <laughs> I had to try. I just wanted to see if I, I could get away I, with I, it. Like, I, pre- I, pre- I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know. You know. Okay. Y'all ain't let me slide with that one. Um. Oh, told y'all he was in Philly for the weekend. Where, where, where'd you go? Where'd you go to this weekend? We're at in Philly, old city. Uh, no, I was at uh, North. Um, you know this Sinesta Hotel. Did you stayed in a hotel in Philly. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> You can't stay in hotels in Philly. What's wrong with that? Was he gonna stay on a sidewalk? What the hell? I mean, last time I seen a hotel in Philly, it was a wedding, and dude got shot right in front of the wedding. I was like, damn. Yo. There, I mean, there's four and five star hotels everywhere. So, were you in Rittenhouse or Willow? You had to be in Rittenhouse. Yeah, it was Rittenhouse. Yeah, I used to date a girl down there. She lived in a nice ass apartment. I feel like you dated a, full, a girl everywhere everything. in Philly. I, I mean, no, not in Philly, but she was a. Uh, Solid five eleven white girl. Hmm. Okay. Now y'all was bagging each other down. What the hell? Five eleven. Fire. Uh, the price is gonna be five hundred dollars. Um, what else? Uh, yes, yeah, that's, that's the price. Uh, I got the specs in front of me. Uh, Can launching, we, uh... l- launching September twenty seventh. Um, wait, no. Wait, what? Launch date is September 27th. Release date is October 10th. What's the difference? What the hell is a launch date, release date? What's the difference? September 27th has already passed. That's what I'm oh, saying. My next year. My next year? No, but it says there's. it has a launch date listed and a release date listed. I don't know what the difference is. I don't either. I'm confused at that. Um, maybe, but, maybe support for certain games or I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Eight gigs of RAM storage is going to be 128 gigs or 512. 4K infinite display, uh, two LCDs, uh, 2064 um, by 2028 pixels per eye, two RGB cameras, uh, refresh 90 90 hertz refresh rate, 110 degrees horizontal. Uh, we we don't know. Yeah, want, yeah. yeah, I want to know something. You uh, something I found out. Apparently, um, the PSVR 2 OLED's lenses or whatever, everyone's lenses are different to a degree. Okay. I guess that's the nature of OLED or the type of lenses they're doing, but 
Yeah, I found that out last week. I got a question. I got a question for you two fine gentlemen. Um, let's let's get a uh, let's get a temperature check on this whole VR situation, man. PSVR two has been on the market for about half a year now, something like that. Maybe mm-hmm. a little bit longer. Uh, BG and Alex, how we feeling about it, brothers? Y'all been playing anything on PSVR? Or what's what's going on with that? Um, I still play mine uh, like about twice twice a week. Um, no, you do not. I do. Uh oh, uh oh. What whoa, are whoa, you whoa, playing? Whoa. Uh, I usually still play um, Creed, honestly. Oh, so you're just working out, using it like a yeah, week. Like it's, it's, really it's, it's my workout, yeah. Like I still, but no, I, I still download and play the other stuff. Like I just downloaded Hellsweeper VR. Um, I have Platinums in like three VR games. Oh. Why you, 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 pa- why, you still ain't hopped in Pavlov or mini golf? No, I, I haven't. Any VR games you or Alex are looking forward to that's releasing sometime soon? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm kind of depressed with VR right now. The one game I was looking forward to was fucking trash, and I deleted it off my uh, console. Firewall okay. Ultra, biggest uh, upset. Oh, that shit trash? Of, nigga, what biggest upset of gaming for me this entire year? Oh, you can always play City Skylines in VR. Go. I love myself too much for that, Bond. Um, Among Us VR is coming. I'm. Can you play Among Us VR against other people who play in regular They're, Among I, Us? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's the same. Oh, that's it'd, be, it'd be OP. Yeah, it'd be too OP. Because, yeah, that's what I want to do. You know, when you, if when y'all have another Among Us session, I'm like, oh, I'm hopping on the VR I don't version. think it would be too OP. If you can only see in front of you, bro, like, imagine you an electrical killer. Somebody you turn around is like mad niggas behind you. Like, nah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Nah, they got, they got on P. I feel like that would be really funny, bro. That would probably be a very funny streaming game. And, and it honestly, would actually be kind of terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. Pl- playing, nigga, you turn around, a nigga peeking around the corner, looking at yeah, shit. Yeah, that's just a viewpoint, bro. I think that'd like be creepy. That'd that's be whack, funny bro. as hell. Oh, playing, oh man, playing Among Us with only other people who are playing VR, like that's whack, bro. You know, because that's a limit. Nah, that'd game. be funny as hell. If I'm walking down the hallway, I see you kill a nigga, and then you turn around and stare at me, and we try to. <laughs> say, oh, <laughs> no, you did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the Spider Man meme. That'd be funny yeah. as hell. Yeah. There's a funny video with that. There's this older guy, um, as like the imposter chasing this little kid, and like you could hear his like mic on VR, and the kid was just crying as the guy was just <laughs> screaming and running running after him. <laughs> I don't know where the video was. I think it was uh on, on Twitter, but it was, it was hilarious. Might be they was doing that on Friday. Hmm. I missed yeah. that game. I'll never forget, bro. I never forget Jack had Run a legendary it. stream with that. Run it, run, gotta, gotta run it, Jack. You know, another game night, man. Holy fuck. Maybe. Y'all yeah. don't believe in game nights no more, man. Dog, do y'all remember Samuel to Geek? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm send you this into the DM because you know how on Facebook sometimes it'd be showing you like people's birthdays and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That nigga looked like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> wow. Wasn't he losing weight at one point? Look at that picture and you tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, no. All right, crazy. All right. Uh, Golden, be WWP panel. Golden Joystick Awards. They announced their uh, nominees uh, for their award show. Uh, let me go through them real quick. Best audio. Stray yeah, God damn, this nigga fat. What the I fuck? I told you. I yo. I don't even think you could penetrate him with a gun or a knife. I don't think you could <laughs> penetrate that nigga with a dick. Hey, no, man. He definitely better put both sides of the bread. He crazy. What's wrong with y'all? What pedants are we at? That nigga big as shit. <laughs> they got a bale of hay next to him. <laughs> and now he ate it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Stop fat shaming people. Anyway, okay. Uh, no, Golden, no motivation. motivation. Nigga, his belt is holding on for dear life. Where, nigga, right, this joint where, is... where'd you post BG, this picture? Look at this fucking, look at this picture? fucking picture. Bro. Where did Bond post it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he posted in DMs. Let me see. Oh, no, nah, that... no. Nah. How you, how you oh, whining in nah, the trees that... my brother? That... Hold on, that nigga taking up two lanes like a ghost. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Nah, he taking up two lanes, bro. You need a CDL to ride this big ass nigga. Oh, hey, nah, man. Go. I, can't I see that on my face. I was like, well, damn. Yeah, he definitely he, dragging the wagon. Hey, hey, get next next time. Yeah, he uh, nigga having he having like quintuplets. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh shit. That's him. Yeah, yikes, bro. He um. Nigga, that belt about to go into retirement holding him together. Yeah, that motherfucker. Yeah, boy. Oh, oh, that boy, that, boy, that boy. belt is longer than the goddamn grand line. <laughs> longer than the gun line, too. Shit. 
All right, what I was saying, okay, Golden jo Joystick Awards uh, nominations. I'm not going to read all of them for all these categories. I'm going to just talk about some of them. Best Storytelling, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood, Armored Core, uh, Fires of Rubicon, Oxenfree, Paranormasite, and Jedi Survivor. Hold on, uh, no Starfield? Mm. No, not for storytelling. Damn um, shame. Uh, best Audio, Stray Gods, Hi-Fi Rush, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, Starfield, Legend of Zelda, and Final Fantasy 16. At least Starfield has got music. Hey, what else we got? Um, best, best indie game. Dave the Diver, Pizza Tower, Dredge, Cocoon, Viewfinder, Sea of Stars. Uh, I've only... Oh, no, I actually heard of Cocoon. I might get that game. It's made by the Olympics. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta play that. Yeah, the game's doing, uh, doing I heard good. Of pizza, pizza Tower was a cult classic. I heard Pizza Tower's pretty good. I've never heard of any of these besides Sea of Stars. <laughs> you Pizza Tower, like, it's like a meme game, Pizza no, Tower. No, I've never heard of none of that other stuff. Um, best multiplayer game, Exo Primal, Diablo, uh, huh? Street, Street Fighter 6, Remnant 2, Mortal Kombat 1, We Were Here Expeditions. We really... <laughs> it's, it's, it's tragic. <laughs> It's tragic. Hey man, what the fuck? You said Exo Primal. Yep. Tragic times, brother. Man. Okay. Best Salute. visual best visual design. Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, Viewfinder, Liza P, Street Fighter 6. Oh, Liza Starfield's P. That's got it. two nominations. Starfield's getting, Starfield's getting some attention now. Yeah. Okay. Nintendo Game of the Year, Pikmin 4, Legend of Zelda, Fire Emblem. Uh, Metroid Prime Remastered, Octopath Traveler 2, Fae Farm. Okay. I'm about to name, I'm gonna name Fae Farm? That's crazy. Bro, you know my sister pay, played Fae Farm at the uh, Nintendo store when we went to New York, bro. This this damn girl bought a Switch right after that. Like, that wow. shit wasn't even popping for... Yeah, she bought a Switch with the Fae Farm. That, that shit worked, man. People love... I don't get what, I don't what? Get what it is. People love it. And the worst part is, there's a lot of black people like these farming games. That is, that is true. <laughs> a lot of women. I, 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 I don't understand why this shit should not be hereditary. Genetic. Yeah, know what I'm about to say. That's genetics, man. You know, we come from a long line of farmers, Brian. You know that. Niggas love the fields. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Listen, man. never got out of our bloodstream all the way, man. It's crazy. Oh, man. We still in chains. We don't even yes, know. That might go. That might go back to like bitches playing The Sims too, though. And now that Bond mentioned it, he might be on to something. That's I've been on the things like the multiplayer games have to be on PC, and now this. Like, I don't know what it is, but okay. Here's two <laughs> things I've noticed: black people like to play farming games, and women like to play games where they can control everything. Whoa, oh. you right? What the think, fuck? Think about it. The Sims. Animal Crossing, like they like games where they can control every detail of the game, and there's no surprises. Them conniving bitches. <laughs> you right, Bob. <laughs> oh man, plot and world domination. Uh, PC game of the year: Baldur's Gate Three, Diablo, Dave the Diver, Tachia, System Shock, and Shadow it's, Gambit: it's, The Curse Crew. Tachia, Tachia, the T side. Oh, okay. Oh, what the, the fuck, yeah. Dave the Diver? Not Dave, Dave the, the, what, 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 the how, how how do you not have a T is silent when you watch Black Panther? Because he said T'Challa. Uh, exactly. Um, and I don't, I don't know who this bitch is, so I don't oh, know if the T's silent. Who is Dave the Diver, BG? Never heard of the, the game. And it's been nominated in three times so far. Like in Let the, me look this shit up, man. Yeah, it's probably never some heard of it. shit. Probably some garbage. Um, Dave the Diver. Let me see. PlayStation Game of the Year, Final Fantasy 16. It's probably about to be a whole bunch of multi-plats. Um, oh, that game is trash. I'm sorry. Final Fantasy 16, Resident Evil 4, Street Fighter 6, Humanity, Armored Core, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yeah, a bunch of multiplayer. Bro, so, okay, this is funny, right? So the Nintendo game, BG, I just want you to compare the Nintendo. Can you read off the, the Nintendo game? The Nintendo, game of the year? it's all exclusives. Actually, all first party, first party games. Listen, Nintendo does their thing. They, they literally can have a category to themselves, <laughs> oh, and it's shit. actually all their games. The, Did like, you just it, name all third party? No, nah, that's yes, it's crazy. all it's all third party stuff for PlayStation. What what, what, what awards are these? Ga they're console game of the years, you know. So they, oh, golden well, joystick, well, who, 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 golden joystick. Okay, let me t let me tweet this. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah it's all multi plats. Nintendo's is all <laughs> Nintendo's is all exclusive except for. Well, yeah, Octopath is 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 exclusive, but it's a um, 
third parties made by Square. I think so I think now Fate Farm, Fate Farm on PC. I know it's on okay. PC. Still, it's oh. yeah, still mainly first party for Nintendo. Uh, is it crazier okay. than having a weekend in Philly and not letting anybody know, Jack? Oh man, oh, oh. Man, you, hurt. You, 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 you really hurt, hurt that man. And yeah, did, 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 yeah, didn't I call it before he even said so? I oh, think it was in Philly the whole week. Yeah. Um, yeah, Xbox, imagine breaking up with Bond. <laughs> Xbox Game of the Year, Starfield, Chance of Cenar. Never heard of that. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush, Planet of Lana, Dead Space, Pentiment. Yeah. Did, did, did it come out? Bro, look how many fucking... Yo! Smooth, come on, bro. Come on, dog. Did it Pentiment come out last year? Pentiment came out last year. It came out, it came out after the, ca the calendar. This is wow. fucking crazy, bro. What? Oh, man. It had three and a half exclusives in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> bro, place, bro, yo, it's no play. This is what I be talking about. How are y'all okay with this, bro? Every was, other we know there was none this year. Exclusive games, bro. We know it was dry this year, dog. Damn, that's fucking crazy. That's, uh, that's unacceptable, bro. Damn. Go uh, ahead, man. Studio of the Year, Larian, Digital Eclipse, Nintendo, uh me 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 games <laughs> remedy entertainment and cd project red uh how do they have remedy in there when Alex yeah how what the hell Re remedy didn't release no game yet this year they spelled bethesda wrong remedy maybe it was just one of their patented glitches remedy how is remedy here oh okay uh let's see most wanted game death stranding 2 star wars outlaws final fantasy 7 rebirth tekken 8 vampire masquerade bro why do they have bro they have like 20 games in this category what bro i'm not even lying to you there's like 20 games in this category i'm not reading all that that they bugging out like you might as well read them man bro no let's get out of here oh is this the last stop no this ain't the last stop um it's only the it's only Jim Ryan left. Uh so yeah, those are those are some of the categories from from that. Uh so yeah, let's talk about Jim Ryan. Big Jimmy, Jimbo. I'll go, I'll go first real quick. Retiring. I, I, Jack should go last because he's got to get it, get his shit off. But um so I don't think it's a bad idea that he's retiring. I mean, here's the issue I think a lot of people have had with him. Jim Ryan was good for PlayStation, but he wasn't good for PlayStation gamers, if that makes sense. Mm. I mean, inadvertently, he could be good for PlayStation gamers because, you know, if there's no PlayStation, then there's no game. So I guess he overall, I guess you could say he's good for PlayStation, games, but he kept PlayStation going. But to me, Jim Ryan did more for PC gamers than he did for PlayStation gamers. The, play, <sighs> the, the P PC gamers are getting more that they did not have prior from Jim Ryan than PlayStation gamers are getting from Jim Ryan. So to me, you know, Jim Ryan, I mean, Jim, Jim Ryan was buying studios to port games specifically to PC. So again, Jim Ryan did good for PC gamers. Jim Ryan did good for, for um, PlayStation, but I can't say Jim Ryan did good for, for PlayStation gamers. Not only that, but to me, the reason why I think he left, I mean, come on, he says he doesn't want to travel. Big whoop. We have freaking Zoom calls now. You don't need to travel anywhere. People can work from home. And now we're hearing reports on the GS games, the 10 GS games they got. I think he wants to leave on top and not before these GS games come out. <laughs> hey, buddy, you must be reading my notes, man. You snuck in my notes, man. What you doing, bro? You spitting right now. Yeah, I've been tweeting this shit, but that's what I think. That's all I got to say. Okay. Uh, should I go before Jack or should Jack go? No, Jack I mean, class so he can bounce off everybody. So here, here's my thing, right? I think I think here's what I want to do. I want to like put all the negatives and all the all the pluses on the table for like Jim Ryan. What we give him credit for, what we don't give him credit for, you know, consumer side, you know, company side. Right, because I think that's the fair way to break it down. Right, so let, let, let's let's just name all all the negatives and, and and pluses. So okay, PC game PC games. Right, but, see, but here's the thing: Do y'all give Jim Ryan credit for that? Because people actually reminded me that Sean Layden was actually the one who like put that into motion. 
I think so, I think the the games would have went to PC regardless of who was in charge. So okay, so that has not. So we're not like a, accounting. I mean, you, that you, you, to, can give, you can give them credit. You can give them credit for it. I mean, it, it don't matter. At I this mean, point, I, so. because I don't I don't see it as a negative, right? I, I I'm not saying it's like this huge positive. I think it's a good thing. So I'll, so we'll give him credit for just continuing it. How about that? Like you know, just continuing to you know put these games on PC and also acquiring acquiring Nixes to do that because that does seem like it was something on him. Okay, cool. So PC games. We're just going to say he continued the motion. All right. All right. Now, is, what else is there? Um, so the games, right? So all the games that have been released so far, people want to say that that was the previous regime. That was Sean Layden. And I didn't realize this, but there was somebody in between Sean Layden and Jim Ryan. I forgot his name. But, um, oh, yeah, John, John Codera. From he was he was the CEO from 2017 to 2019, and I'm like, where was I when this when this happened? I do not remember this guy at all, right? Um, but do so as far as the games the games go, uh, I'm fine with not giving Jim Ryan credit for anything that's been released so, so far. I'm I'm fine with that, right? But my thing is, I don't think we can knock him for games that have not been here yet because we can't judge we can't judge it that's my thing we have nothing to judge him judge him off and it's kind of like something we have to wait and see to see how these games actually you know well, release and 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 their impact i could i could partially agree with that but we can criticize them for the fact that they aren't out yet i mean i would criticize that okay you could, I, I would say that that's fair, but or 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 at least in a showable form, I would say that's that's yeah, I could I criticize them for that. I would say that's fair, but I also think people kind of confuse how long Jim Ryan was actually there for. He became CEO the middle of 2019. I think people talk about Jim Ryan like he's been here for like he's been CEO for a very long time. He I hasn't even been about been about four years, right? About four yeah, years. Yeah, but people talk about him like the dev like. That's that's hardly a full dev cycle for a video game, right? Like a lot of these games that come from PlayStation, like um, like God of War, La Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, yeah, all, I mean Horizon. All of these games took like five to six years. Ghost of Tsushima took six. Or everything else took five. That's why. That's why when we were arguing the other day, I was saying, going off what you just said, all the games that's still coming out. Even I would say even probably Spider Man too. All them games, Sean Layden and John Codero, whoever the fuck, they signed off on them games. Sean okay. Layden didn't have nothing to do with these fucking games, bro. All cool every game that. that came out with so far, that was Sean Layden work, bro. And the I'm, games, I'm, go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. So I'm cool with not getting him, giving him credit for any of those. Is what I'm saying. That's fine with me. So it, it's it's kind of like pending. It's pending. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so games. Let, let's say that's just neutral because we 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 can't judge it yet right um acquisitions he acquired like seven studios he did uh, good with that we, he did good good with that we got to see how how those how those really pay off but he did grow the you know the playstation studios a lot of people seem to stay fixated on like he shut down two studios but like ignore that he acquired seven and two of the studios let's be honest nobody gave a damn about uh, uh, Pixel Opus, nobody cared about them. They released. I I I I enjoy Concrete Genie, but sure. But like when people, they, bro, there were PlayStation fans that didn't even know who Pixel Opus was. But they only they only made two games, so I mean, if you didn't play either one of those, I mean, it, it, exactly. And they they were like ten people, and Japan Studios shut shut down, or you know they've been reconstructed into uh, a Sobi now. Like, bro, Japan Studios was was a disaster for like the like the last ten years before they were even like shut down. Like, I still don't understand how people were mad at that, bro. They, if a studio is not doing well, and they they've been struggling well before Jim Ryan, you they should be shut down. Like, I don't understand what what how people were so protective of. Like, what did Japan Studios even do for you? Do for you recently? For you to be so protective of them, that that's my thing. Like I, I can understand, like like people were still holding on to Japan Studios from like two decades ago, not 
recently, you're still protecting them from what they gave you two decades ago. They haven't done nothing recently. So yeah, they so they deserve to be shut down in my opinion. <laughs> am I wrong? I don't know if I'm wrong. Am I wrong with that? I mean, hey. All right, I'm, I'm just I'm just asking because I, I feel like that was a good decision to shut. Well, to restructure them into something new and we'll see how that studio, how, how Asobi does from here on out. So I think on the acquisition side, he did good. OK, um, movies and TV shows. We know that we don't necessarily want that to be. Well, that's that's you know, that's their movie division and everything like that. Um, but those turned out to be. Better than what we expected. Twisted Metal, uh, Last of Us, even even Gran Turismo was apparently good. So that's not gaming. That's not gaming related directly. But that seemed to be, you know, a a, po a positive thing. Also, was the movie and, and TV's part. So cool. Now, what what else really is there? I mean, there's the games. We talked about the PC releases. Oh, the communication. The communication is. Definitely where I say Jim Ryan was horrible. No denying that. There was mixed messaging. He wasn't good at communication. They, they avoided communication. That seemed to be specifically something that he, that, that he spearheaded. He only wanted to talk to like GQ magazine and specific publications. So I, I absolutely say he was terrible when it came to communication. I don't deny that at all. So... What else, you know, what else are we judging him on? You tell us. I'm, I'm, I'm asking because look, I'm, people are trying to like, people seem to think that like when I have this discussion that I'm saying he was like this amazing CEO. What my case was, I don't know how you can look at it. Look what he did on paper and say like he was bad. Like people were celebrating in the streets, like doing backflips on. I'm like, what did you? You would have thought like he ran PlayStation into the ground, is what I'm saying. The way people were celebrating on Twitter. When I, I'm like, I don't, I don't understand like what is like the celebration exactly for. Because y'all didn't like his personality or lack there, lack thereof, or he didn't talk much. Okay, cool. Like, I think it's it's great to want like a CEO that that has better communication communication and talks more. But I don't think like people's Commotion. reaction. I, I don't I don't think people's you know reaction matched what this man did what in, in four years. That was my thing. So that that's that's all that's all my stance was. I just don't think the reaction matched like what he did. I mean, a, a plus was, uh, you know. There was like record profits, record, record revenue. That's the business side. That don't really got nothing to do with us. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. So, you know, he navigated the company through, um, through COVID when there was all those shortages and, and, and all that stuff. So I absolutely get people like knocking him for, for a communication issue, but all the other stuff that they be blaming him for doesn't really like some of the stuff don't even have nothing to do with him like oh abandoning abandoning indies bro playstation was abandoning indies way before jim ryan came into power abandon abandoning oh their japanese roots bro playstation left um they were they uh re uh they moved from oh, yeah, yeah. from from japan to california relocated from japan to california in like 2016 They've been abandoned their Japanese roots as far as games go way before Jim Ryan. I think people like became so emotional, emotional and like they Blame wanted Drew. to like, yeah, they, they wanted to blame Jim Ryan for stuff. And he's you should blame him for certain things. But like people were blaming Jim Ryan for like a bit for PlayStation ab abandoning who they were, bro. They've been moved from that. So I think people were just looking for something to hate him for. That's my thing. I don't think like people were really being objective about it. So, uh, I, I think he did like a, like a fine job as far as the games go. We just have to wait and see. That that's my thing. So I just don't know how people argue that like oh he was terrible at his job. You know that's that's my thing. Like if I had to give him a, a letter grade, I'll probably give him a B. All right, here's my question, BG. 
If you give him a B, what would you have given that man? A Wada? No, <laughs> we don't use that name here. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? You know, it's funny. Um, I actually was driving behind a car a couple of days ago. The license plate said Satoru. I was like, God damn it. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know what I would have given a Wada because I'm not, I wasn't really like on. He, he died before the Switch came out? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. He died in like 2014, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 2014. What year was that? 2015? Something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. But um, I wasn't really, I didn't really care about the Wii U that much. But the Switch, you know, I started to really like it the last few years. And like the price increases on PlayStation, you can accredit that to Jim Ryan. Sure, he he approved that, like that outrageous price increase. No, no doubt. That sucked. You know, CEOs before him, there were price increases also. You know, so all I'm saying is that that that's not like an exclusive Jim Ryan thing to increase the price of PlayStation Plus and increase the price of other things. Like all the, the CEOs before before him have done a lot of the stuff y'all hate Jim Ryan for. But I think because y'all like those personalities, y'all like Sean Layden's or Jack Trenton's or Andrew House and all of these. Not all three of those were like CEOs and the, the you know, the shoe haze. Y'all like them personally. Right. But they did a lot of the some of the similar things, so I feel like people let them slide, and like, oh well, we like those guys, we like their personality and all that stuff, so they just they just let it go. So that, that's all my point is. I'm not saying like, and I'm excited for for a new person because I think his approach when it comes to communication will be better. I just don't think this the guy is just like this devil that PlayStation some PlayStation fans made him out to be. So. Any other thoughts? I know, I know, I know, y'all got some thoughts on on Jimmy. Um, I got some thoughts. Uh, if I can mirror some of Bond's sentiments real quick. Now, if you ask me, was Jim Ryan good for PlayStation? I think it simply depends on who you are. If you're a PC gamer, if you're a investor in the Sony uh, brand, he was absolutely amazing. Great businessman, great mind for business. I never take that away from him. Cutthroat. He don't give a fuck for real, right? If you're a PlayStation only gamer, I don't see how he was did anything for you at all. And it's funny, right? When you ask people to name what Jim Ryan done for them, they would always say, "Well, PlayStation's doing better than it ever has. They're selling games like Gangbusters. It's going bonkers. Jack moves stock price." Once again, good brother, what have they done for you? Um. Let's run down some of some of Jimbo's biggest, biggest hits in the community, man. These games come to you only possible through the power of the PlayStation 5. Oh, man. Wow. Amazing. My dick hard, Jimmy. My shit hit the ceiling. I can't believe that. Wow. Oh, yeah. But after the conference, we're going to tell you that. Oh, you know, them shit still coming to PS4, though, right? Oh, really? Damn. That's crazy. Um, the dual sys controller, the haptic feedback. It's only possible. On PS5 games. It's so strong. It's so it do so much. You you can only play native PS5 games with the dual with the with the dual sense. Okay, cool. That makes sense. I mean, it is new technology. Oh, wait a minute. But if I remote play a native PS5 game on a PC, I can use a dual sense. Okay, cool. And the same games are on PS4. They use a dual shot for. Okay, cool. My, Get that my mistake. Free online too. My mistake. We believe in generations, but Every game that I'm talking about is still coming to a previous gen. They must, they might believe too much in generations. I'd say, um, every up, every next gen upgrade has a free path. Every game that's cross generation, if you want the next gen version, it will be absolutely free if you purchase it. Except we trying to charge you ten dollars for Horizon Forbidden West, and then the community got to say, no, but y'all said everything was gonna be free. What happened? Oh yeah, shit, we did say that. Fuck. We talk out our ass so much we forgot we said that. So we are gonna get this to y'all little punk asses for free. But now going forward, every game is gonna cost you some money, even though we told you it was gonna be free previously. <sighs> Horizon Zero Dawn will be a one-off PC release. He went from saying that to saying, "Oh, whole slate. Don't even worry about it." 
No well, one yeah, wants to play. Do it. A one off? Well, I, I don't. Th- I wait. I don't know if PlayStation ever said a one. I think fa- I remember fans. He did. He did say that. He I remember that. fans saying that. I don't he did, know. He did he, say. He said that in the interview that, that was going to be a one off release. And then when he then what he said was there was no adverse. Uh, yeah, you, you remember them comments. Um, no one wants to play old ugly ass games, right? They're not appealing. But then let's reboot PlayStation Plus and make them same old ugly ass games the highest value proposition on the platform and charge $160 much to play $160 a year to play those. Okay, cool. Um, this is my thing with Jim Ryan, man. He's been lying for half a decade to us. But now that he said he tired, we believe him. That's funny, right? He's been lying to us constantly. Non-stop for half five damn near five years. But now he's saying, y'all, you know what? I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm falling back. Now we believe him. It's funny, right? Because Sean Layton, according to a lot of people, including Sean Layton himself, because I feel like Sean Layton was pushed out of the company, which he, he himself almost uh, agrees with, right? Any tweet about Sean Layton getting fired or removed from Sony uh, unjustly, he likes it. He ain't got no, he ain't got, he don't respond to shit else, but he liked them tweets because there's some truth to it. So was Jim Ryan fired? I don't know. But uh, the argument I get when I say that, well, why would you leave when the PlayStation is on top and they're selling more than ever? Well, why did Andrew House leave? Because the PlayStation was selling on top and more than ever. Why did Jack Tredden leave? Because the PS4 at that point was selling more and selling. Why did Sean Layden leave? Why did Shuhei Yoshida get demoted? At, at all these points, PlayStation was doing better than they ever have. So did Jim Ryan get fired? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't put it past them. Um, the new PS Plus initiative has been an absolute abject failure. They have they have raised the price twice under Sean. I mean, under uh, Jim Ryan's leadership, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and they haven't added anything. Actually, if you really want to be technical, they've subtracted things, a lot of things. And then they react. You know what? I was eating KLC today, right? They brought back the spicy hot wings. But the problem is, they say the new spicy hot wings, right? All the problem is. Y'all had these on the menu. Y'all took these off the menu probably a year and a year and a half. But before that, they was on the menu for like 10 years. So they're not new, but you repackaged it. I can appreciate that. That's the same thing they did with PS Plus. Uh, let's see here. None of the current games y'all are giving this man credit for were signed off by him. We just touched on that. A lot of this shit coming, even Spider-Man 2. I, I highly doubt. If games, see, you can't say games are taking longer and longer to make and then give Jim Ryan credit for that. If games are taking longer and longer to make, that means he was not in a, a position of power to sign off and agree to make these games because <clears throat> he wasn't there yet. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, let me see. I did that. I did that. Oh, so the current work that he should get credit or criticism about hasn't came out yet. All these games, all these GS that's coming out, all the fair games, the Concords or the, the marathons yeah, I, I, of the I world. I some money anytime somebody says GS now. So, so shout out to Bond. All these GS is coming out. That's what we need to we need to really truly judge. Now, if these games come out and they fucking fire, there's some bangers in there. I retract a lot of shit I said about Sean Layton because clearly he had a vision that I didn't peep, right? But as of right now, it was crazy. It's when these games do come out, whether they're good or bad, he's not gonna get credit. The other person that's in, currently in charge is gonna get the credit. <sighs> um, let's see here. What else? So you know, just to summarize how I feel about Sean, I mean, I keep saying Sean Lake. To summarize how I feel about Jim Run, I didn't like him. Uh, he's a piece of shit. And fuck him. We smoking on him. That shit stank and put it in rotation. I'm done. All right. Well, yeah, well, me and Jack are going to agree to disagree on that one as we've been doing all Nah, of fight it out. No, we, we, Jack, I, did stayed, you see- I stated mine. Jack stated see- his. So go ahead, Alex. Y'all see the nigga that they gonna have in the interim is like believes in mobile gaming more than console. Oh yeah, Hato- that just Scott the Hatoki Totoki. Now this is my thing about him, bro. Fire his name. name is Hatoki Totoki. I like Shuru- Hadouken Shuruken. I like his name, uh, but this is the thing. People saying, "What if he's worse?" Nigga, how? <laughs> how can you be worse than the nigga that didn't put out no games? <laughs> like, come on, man. How can you be worse than the nigga that didn't put out no games? <laughs> Once on, again, now, Jack, I don't think that's fair. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think I that's think, fair think, to say think, he didn't put out no matter, games. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, BG, I think it's I think it's more than fair. I think it's fair. I, I don't. Oh, okay. Hey, Jiggy hey, hey, Jiggy Battle League Jiggy coming Lee. back in November, nigga. Tap in, I, okay? I, I'll, remi- yeah. I'll remind people the man was barely there a full four years. 
And every, if you look at any first PlayStation first party game, took at least five years, at least five years that y'all love to release. You sound like a, you sound like a Trump supporter right now. You no, know. I'm just, I'm just, if, if putting out facts make me a Trump supporter, what's sure. What's wrong with Trump supporters? Hey, man. We... <laughs> if, like I said, it, look, so what I'm saying is by PlayStation's history of games, which take five years to develop, that would be next year. So it, what I'm saying is like the games that we assume he he greenlit, if those are not out next year, then yeah, I'm like okay, I don't I don't know what the hell is going on. But knowing how long PlayStation games take to develop, yeah, I'm not knocking this man so, for not releasing games when no PlayStation studio has done it in that time frame before. Let's 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 real quick let's let's look okay so we got spider-man coming uh in 19 days right i can't i can't wait i already got it pre-ordered the collector's edition by the way y'all know how y'all criticize me now go by the clip you said i did that did y'all put the 87 dollars down to y'all didn't do okay cool so we got that coming out hell divers 2 coming out top of next year man after that bg i i i turn to you my good brother what what do we got coming up from from the, uh, the blue brand over there brother what what we know about well, I, I wouldn't know that, but that's, like I said, I never disagree that he was never oh. great at communication. I, and I left off one of my, I left off one of my notes. Oh yeah. Oh, I left off a couple of my notes. I wasn't done. Uh, PlayStation hasn't had a notable state of play in well over two years. If that's okay with you, I need you to put something in your mouth. Uh, I was going to say some crap. <laughs> I'm going to say, say some crazy. I'm about to say, show something up your ass. I ain't want to do it though. Um, also, y'all remember PlayStation Experience, bro? Y'all remember back when all them other guys was in charge, bro? We used to have shit like PlayStation Experience. You used to go talk. I, bro, it's niggas on YouTube right now that we know they got interviews with Sean Layton, bro, from PlayStation Experience. They talking to David Jaffe. They talking to all these developers and, and, and game makers. They playing all the latest and greatest games. Imagine if they did a PlayStation Experience right now. They had you in there. <laughs> what you would be in that motherfucker doing, BG? If PlayStation had a PlayStation Experience in December, what games would you go there and play? He he be he don't picture when the girls sit on the edge of the bed because they shy. They haven't announced them. <laughs> That's what BG would be doing. You would just be in that motherfucker playing Tiddlywinks. It ain't no games to play. It's Jack, nothing to do. Y'all would Jack. be going to Olive Garden, fucking trying to fuck on bitches. Y'all they, wouldn't be playing they, no games, man. Y'all would be they, out they, shooting. It'll, they haven't it'll announced look like them. The, it'll look like the beginning scene of Minister Society at that motherfucker. Y'all ain't gonna be shooting dice, playing fucking craps, nigga, dominoes, slapping on table. Y'all be sipping out of 40. It ain't no... It's gonna be a singular table in the middle of a fucking convention center with some dice on that bitch. Y'all ain't playing no games. It ain't why no games you, to play. Why are you yelling? I'm just saying. What would y'all do? This is the shit I ask y'all. All y'all yeah. dick eaters. If PlayStation Experience happened in December, what would you go and do in that motherfucker? Nothing! Maybe it would be pretty much, it would have to be a whole bunch of games they haven't announced yet. We don't know. Oh, so they so they gonna break the news to us there? No, oh, okay. that's not that's you, not what I'm mean, saying, Jack. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, but look, BG, you just made a good point. They gonna break the news to us there, right? Like how they announced Spider-Man 2 at the PlayStation Showcase and then said, we don't know when the game coming out, but we confident it's coming out this year. And then they waited till the summer games to tell us when the game was actually coming out which was two after two two weeks after they could have just told us at the playstation that that's cool they just wanted to come out on stage to show a new picture they want just pr here's, here's cool. what i believe that's here's what cool. i believe jack i believe jim ryan for whatever reason this was his philosophy on how to handle things was he didn't want to announce any games until like there was an absolute release release date date ready right i'm not saying i agree with that communication style but I think that's what he's moved to, which is the oh, okay. Okay. which is the much okay. more polar opposite than, for example, last Last of Us, for example, Last of Us Part Two was announced in 2016. That it was. game it was. that game didn't get released until four years later. It was actually announced in 2015 in December. Oh, oh okay. So yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of my point. That I understand. Okay, you're saying like, okay, what games are are we going to be playing? But it's the, the situation before was kind of the same, except you didn't know See, about the games. Because even though but, you knew about Last of Us okay. in 2015, you didn't get to play it until five years later. Okay. So, but I can counteract that by saying we learned about God of War 20, uh, 2018 and 2016. We learned about Spider Man 2, which came out two sure. years later. We learned about Days Gone, that came out three years later. We learned about Detroit Become Human, which also came out two years later. Or maybe even, was it 2017? A lot of these games had big gaps. A lot of these games no, have big no. gaps. 
they 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 revealed they showed Horizon and it came out two years later. They revealed sure. five or six brand new uh tent pole franchises in Sony's uh fucking uh portfolio at E3 2016, and they came out within three years of them showing them. So when you tell me shit like well, you know, well, you know, uh, The Last of Us, which that game probably went through a little bit of developmental hood. They actually skipped a year showing The Last of Us 2. So that, that hurts even worse when we have to skip years of seeing The Last of Us 2. We wait five years for it to come out, and it still ain't got the fucking Jack, online. Where's factions? It, it still ain't got the online, right? So a game announced, what, what was that? Three, five? That was eight years ago they announced this game, and we're still waiting on factions too. Is that a management issue? Is that is that a fan issue? Am I just wanting too much? Am I asking for too much? What is it, BG? Like I said, here's here's my point. It takes the average time for these games is five years, right? Cool. It's been five. Years. Jim Jim Ryan's no, been there it's, since. It's, it's been it's been eight years actually. But go ahead. Okay, no, but I'm I'm talking. I'm not only talking about factions. I'm talking about everything else. Jim Ryan. He got there the middle of 2019. We can all do math. Five years after the middle of 2019, it's not, so, it's not, we're not there yet. So, so uh, that's so all by, I'm saying. By, so by your math, by your, by your math, in about six or seven more months, we should be playing Factions 2, correct? I'm not talking about Factions 2. Factions 2 is obviously outside of, of, of the regular. They are in development hell with that. I'm talking about the games. Oh, I'm talking about I'm talking about the games that oh. Jim Ryan that Jim that, that oh, we're talking oh, about that oh. that Jim Ryan has greenlit that we I'm not assume done. Greenlit. I'm not done. I'm not hold done. On, hold I'm on, not hold done. on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I hold on, wait. This is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying. I'm saying the the games that Jim Ryan has greenlit, right? Because he became cool. he, came, he came into power 2019, somewhere in 2019. So I'm saying the games that he would have greenlit most likely so. coming out. Between okay. next year, the year after, based on I, development times. We need to talk about a few games, Jim Ryan Greenlee, because you bring up a good point, brother. Uh, a couple of PlayStation uh, showcases ago, one that we gave like a 4 out of 10, respectively. Me and BG gave it like a 4 out of 10. They announced a, core, a KOTOR Knights of the Old Pup Republic remake, mm -hmm. right? Now, not only did Sony handpick the developers for this game, I believe they were also money had in development for this game. It was supposed to be a, an exclusive on the PS5, and people were very hyped about it, very ecstatic about it. Um, recently, and the game was rumored to be in some type of developmental hell, and it might even never come out. I gave them the benefit so, uh, of that, even so though so we're giving we're giving Jim Ryan credit for green light in this one. Yes, absolutely, but. But okay. because it did get greenlit after he came into power, they announced it like what last year, year before last. Um, no, that was, it, it was an, it was announced in twenty. I want to the end of twenty twenty. I thought wasn't it the end of twenty twenty. No, that was not the end of twenty twenty. Okay. I got. When did Wolverine get announced? When did Wolverine get announced? It was the same showcase. Uh, I gotta check. So my point is, um, now the trailer for this game mysteriously disappeared off of PlayStation, YouTube, social medias, and and. This now is this a true for a lie, everybody? Hear me out. People said, well, they said it was copyrighted music and they had to take it off the store for okay, cool. That's understandable. That, that makes logical sense. I, I post this on Twitter and somebody said, Jack Move, did you know that they also went back and scrubbed all the tweets ever mentioned in this game coming out? So let me get this straight. They removed a trailer for copyrighted music, supposedly, which is a fair out, but they also went and they also <laughs> went and deleted all evidence of them ever mentioned in this game why would they do that that get that them, them tweets in there are no copyrighted music are words copyrighted now that they couldn't use what what happened with that yeah, gs is copyrighted let's let's talk about another game he made uh sony don't own devotion studios or what is it deviation studio they don't own deviation studios but deviation studios was literally formed and created simply to make a gs for sony playstation which they were fully funded as far as I know, they laid off. They had like 150 employees. As far as I know, they've laid off well over half of their employees, around 90. Uh, this is all confirmed. It's it's written in stone. And the game is in developmental hell, and it may never come out. Uh, let's see here. They also got in bed with old buddy from, uh, what was that fake game that never came out? The dude kept getting promoted. Abandoned? Y'all remember Abandoned? Didn't nobody do their research? You know, people always say, Jack Moo, you don't Jack, never that, do your research. That had, that had nothing to do with PlayStation, though. What does that have to do with PlayStation? Nigga, the, the nigga what? Are what you serious? It was in a trailer. What does that have to do with PlayStation? Though? Nigga, they literally was giving them the whole forefront. What are you talking about? Jack, that had 
They didn't have Nigga, a they partner. was trying to promote the game. PlayStation Jack, literally promoted the game. Jack, what are you talking did, about? Jack, they didn't have a collaboration or a partnership with them, though. Okay. Okay. They didn't. And Jack, they, Jack, PlayStation does that for many games. That doesn't that that's not a partnership. Okay, right? okay. See, BG finna see BG finna do this thing to where if he can argue one of your points, he's just gonna keep harping on it. So no, so I let I let you name scratch, the other ones, scratch, but I'm saying Abandon had Abandon had nothing to do with PlayStation. Scratch, okay, like. cool. Scratch that, scratch that. They bought they bought Bungie for over three billion dollars, and as soon as they bought him to be a first party studio, they said it's cool that y'all bought us, but we ain't no fucking first party studio. As a matter of fact, even though we're owned by Sony PlayStation, we, we don't want to be a PC games. We make yeah, PC games, games day and date. We don't want to be associated with Sony PlayStation, and you can't call us a first person studio. Fuck y'all. What's the On problem top with that? of that, they said all these games are service, y'all, all these GS y'all making. Nigga, scrap all this bullshit. This shit trash. Nigga, put it back in the pot. You exaggerate. You're now you're exaggerating. This you well, get very been, well. You get very I, I, exaggerated. I, would, I would agree with you if if factions didn't get publicly delayed and it was confirmed. I mean, what did sure. they tell them? Did they say? Did they say it looks peachy keen? Put it out next week. I don't think they said that. It's, they said it needed more content. I don't see the problem with that. Oh, so they told them to put it back in the pot. What I just said. Oh, okay, what's the cool. problem with that? I don't. Well, I don't know. Jack. Some some have, of the things have, you're naming, I have, Jack, I don't I see liked, it as a I bad thing. Have seen, I would have liked to have seen something. Sure, BG, I, I, the things BG. you're naming, I, some of the things you're naming, I don't see it as an issue. But go ahead. But 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 check this out though. Last year, Neil Druckmann himself said, "Hey man, we got a we got a, a JPEG for y'all today. But if you wait till next year, we promise y'all, man, we gonna tell y'all a lot of shit y'all want to know about this factious too. It is it, it, coming along beautifully, and we can't wait to share more info." And Jeff Keeley, long headed, said, D -d "Thank you, uh, Neil, uh, Neil, everybody." Uh, right? They did that, and then this year, I'm waiting patiently. I'm, I got my hands folded, prayer hands. Where is it? Then one day, one random day, they tweet out another JPEG. I said, "Oh shit, okay, cool." But surely, but you know, I'm, I'm cynical. I'm like, surely this is not the only. <laughs> this ain't the more news. You, you following up a picture with another concept? This can't be the only news, now, can it? And lo and behold, that was the other news because last was they just had last week, and they ain't had nothing but some fucking dirty flannels and flags to sell us and some fucking overpriced artwork. They already got me once. They ain't getting me again. Um, Jade Raymond Studio. What the fuck is Jade Raymond Studio doing? I don't even know what her studio doing right now. They, ain't they working close? Mm. I think they even bought them, didn't they? What they doing? Uh, Concord. We don't know what the fuck Concord is. It was a nigga eating a sandwich in a space suit. I thought I was a Starfield. Uh, tra I thought it was a Starfield trailer, right? You make fun of sandwiches in Starfield, but you see Concord and your dick get hard. How that work? Fair Games is an extraction shooter. Most PlayStation fans don't play no fucking extraction shooters. I'm not going to play no extraction shooter. BG not going to play that shit. So I don't know why y'all excited about that. On top of us not knowing what the fuck it really is for real. I could go on and on about this shit, but I digress. That's it. I, I think my also my issue with y'all like oh wait, oh, wait. okay damn, damn. That's late. they you don't see when PlayStation was they was hyping up abandoned BG you don't see this Jack, tweet Jack you don't see this tweet Jack Jack are you Jack does PlayStation not do that for mad third party games have bro, you have, have you checked PlayStation Jack no this listen is, to what this I'm is saying the point. this is no 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 stop right there let me just finish the statement oh, and you can go on. If you're a platform holder, you do not tweet out. Let me read this tweet. A band is a new survival horror title with a focus on realism and immersion as you escape the woods. How it taps into the PS5 dual sense control and 3D audio. They so? did not. They, they did not go play and vet this game to see if it was a real fucking game. You do not tweet. That goes all in the PR. You do not tweet out a game that you don't Jack. know is fucking Jack, you are no, making no, this no, way no, bigger no, than it needs to be. Like, bro, it, it is like, not that serious. Did his mic just break? I think so. It's not that serious. Nigga accidentally ate the mic. What the hell? Bro, I just, I can't believe that you're accepting of this. Jack, they you are promoting this shit. Jack, you're, Jack. Jack, do you follow the PlayStation account? Do you see the type of yes! stuff they promote? Jack, do you bro. see the type of, pro Jack, Jack, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. You are highlighting stuff that PlayStation has always done, but for some reason to you, it's like, it's now is blowing your, your mind. Okay, let me ask you a question, BG. When was like, the last time they promoted a game that wasn't bro, really a fucking game, BG? Bro, bro, Jack, PlayStation promotes dog shit on their account all the time. They've been doing it forever. Have you, like, this is what, this, because it's not that they don't do this. I'm just shocked that you're suddenly being aware of it.
I, I've always been aware, but every time I say it, they're like, oh, Jack, you fat motherfucker, get something to do, Jack, why don't you go find a girlfriend, Jack, why don't you go get a job, Jack, and am I, I know I can't see too well, my eyes are all fucked up, am I the only, like, am I, am I bugging, am, is anything I said resonated with anyone listening right now, I, am Jack, I tripping, I, I just, I just think, Jack, am I, I tripping, I'm, or Jack, do I Jack, have valid Jack, complaints I don't know, about I don't a platform know. that I enjoy, Jack, somebody I, talk to me, please, Jack, I don't know what's going on with you, but like, I think you just become hyper aware of PlayStation. This is like a lot of the shit you're complaining about, bro. This has been PlayStation, though. Like, no, I, it ain't. It wasn't never. It wasn't okay. never this bad, man. It was okay. never this All bad, right. man. It was uh, never bro, this bad. Because, like, bro, bro, Jack, when you when you talk about like, like I said, the indie situation, canceled games, bro. PlayStation been canceling games. Like left and right. This <laughs> happened. This happened before Jim Jim Ryan. They canceled a it bunch ain't never of games. Been- CG, it has never been this bad, and Sony used to have other I, games to take up in the gap. I bro, disagree, Jack. I think bad, you, I, I think you just kind of let it slide. No, it because it wasn't this bad, bro. This I is disagree. the worst it has ever been, bro. I, I disagree. I think you let it slide and you didn't pay attention to it, to it because they still had great games coming out. I can't say that no more. I can't say that no more. So in the past three years, they haven't had great games coming out. I'm gonna say this, and I play oh all God. these games numerous times. <laughs> God of War 2018 is better than God of War Ragnarok, right? I do. Horizon. Are Horizon they great, are they great games? Yes or no? They okay. They're, now they're okay. <laughs> it depends. On what, it depends on what name a game and I'll tell you if it's great or not. You know, name you a game it. I'll tell you if it's great or not. No, you, no, you got it. You got it. You got Which it, game? Name a game and I'll tell you if it's great or not. Right, we can do this. Okay. Okay. R- Ratchet and Clank. Rats- Ratchet and Ratchet Clank. Ratchet and Clank. I, I played within the past. Year and a half, I played every single Ratchet and Clank game, and I'm here to tell you, Ratchet mm-hmm. and Clank Rift Apart is nothing special. It's cool, okay. though. I like it. It's a good game, okay. nothing special. It's a good Returnal. Game. Returnal, amazing game. Phenomenal. Horizon Forbidden West. I say it's a great game. Great game. God of War, Ragnarok. I think, I think it took some steps back in the franchise. And you know what's crazy? Half of the gameplay... A large portion of the community don't even like half of the fucking gameplay in that game. So if you're saying I'm bugging, then y'all just, I don't like, the the traversal is worse in that game compared to 2018. Uh, It it follows heavily from 2018, uh, beat for beat almost in certain sections. I do like God of War Ragnarok, but it's not better than 2018. Is it a great game? I don't even know if I say it's a great game. It's really good. See, Jack, this is like, (laughs) come on, see? (laughs) Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not better though, BG. Who the fuck? Who I, the I didn't fuck ask you if it was better. I just asked you, was it a great game? Let me ask you a question. Do you buy a sequel wanting it to be better or worse than the last game or on par? I want a game to be better when I buy a sequel, bro. Sure, but I still acknowledge if it's a still a great game, it just may not be better than the previous game. And, and you know why I'm going to say it's not a great game? Because oh, this game God. was ta- this game was originally supposed to... This is why this game not beating the DLC ac- accusations. Hear me out. 2018 came out in 2018. This game was slated to come out in 2020. But COVID happened. I get him that. Uh, Christopher Judge fucked up his knee. Mm. Or, or no, his hip or his back or some shit. Fucked up I his get, knee? No, no. His knee. I said his knee. I meant his hip or his back. He I fucked up his hip or his back. His meat. No, 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 no. But this game was slated to come out two years after God of War 2018. That's why I got them DLC accusations. But <sighs> it got delayed a whole year and it got pushed back to 2022. If this game would have came out in 2020, I probably would have said it's a great game just because okay. how close it came out to the album. Okay. But as far you don't, but for you them don't having five years, for them having five years of development time, the only thing you can show me is a spear. Nah, man, I'm good, bro. Okay. Uh it was more than that, but sure. Um there's De- Demon Souls. You don't play Demon Souls. I could tell you that was a fantastic game. Yeah, it was a remake. Sure, still, sure, fan- sure. still fantastic. Oh, yeah. De- Miles, Demon Miles, Souls Miles, that they ac- Miles Morales. Demon Souls that they said was accidentally gonna come out on PC, and then they said they didn't look at the trailer before they uploaded it, and then it, it what does was they have to do with anything? Sorry, I don't know what they got to do with anything. Right. No. Demon Souls was the complete biggest waste of resources ever. No, literally the same fucking game with. Just better graphics. They would have been better off just making Bloodborne. No, no, it wasn't. BG, but go ahead. What, 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 Jack, I think, I, I, think, I think you're going out your way to nitpick I'm gonna a tell lot you, of I'm going to tell you why I mentioned that. I'm going to tell you why, why I mentioned that. Because that goes back into curation. That goes back into uh, brand. That just goes back. PlayStation of old would have never been that fucking sloppy, bro. Imagine, okay, I'm going to give you an example that we can all identify with. Uh, you know you do game. You, you, mean, you, mean the play, you mean the PlayStation whose network was down for six weeks would never be that sloppy? 
that, that bounce back after that? Yeah. Uh, they got hacked two weeks ago. Uh, BG. Come on. So, Come on, Jack. You like, know how you get gameplay? Imagine if you put gameplay that people sent in, BG, and you didn't look through it, you didn't vet it, and somebody slipped some porn in there or, or a gore video. Look. That goes back on who, BG? They go back on you. Yo, yo. Because you... You did not vet the shit and you did not curate the shit. It's yeah. all about curation. At the end of the day, bro, any mistakes that they made on with their public image, it goes back on them, bro. It's detrimental to the overall brand and the quality. Every other week is some shit. Bro, we went two years with mostly negative PlayStation news. Oh, they they made a mistake with this. All oh, this going to this. Jack, this game let me ask you something. Bro, it's all let me, image, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you something, Jack. You think the PS3 generation was better than this generation so far three years in? Yes. Exactly. Let's move on. I, 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 don't, I don't need... There's nothing else I need yeah, to know. The, there's the nothing same, else I need to know. The same generation you was just dick eating that you want games For from? multiplayer yeah, games. Yeah. For multiplayer games specifically. So, so, so yeah. So the, so the same Jack, generation Jack, you the, was just... What I'm dick, saying is the, the, PS, the, the PS3 generation, generation... you were just fucking Jack, dick eating. Yeah. Jack, Jack, the PS3 generation, you're talking about like fuck-ups on the, during the PS5? There's no generation See, PlayStation had this, more fuck ups is, than the PS3 this generation. Is what, this is what they were li- this is they what, were literally the sloppiest brand this, making mistakes this is left and wrong. right. This is, fundamentally, this is what's wrong with your argument. It's a straw man argument. Everyone knows that PlayStation okay. turned their shit around in 2009. You trying to bring up the darkest moment they, in Sony history, the only time in history that okay, they ever Jack. got outsold by their competition. Niggas. Okay, Jack. Bro, do you realize? Did you do you realize from 2005 to 2000? From from 2005 to 2006 is the only time Sony ever got outsold by their comp like that, bro. You bringing up the darkest moment in their history, and I'm bringing up from 09 to 20, whenever the fuck dickhead took over. Then was their strongest moment. Oh nine. So don't don't try don't try to use that bullshit. We know what the fuck going on. You mean you mean 2019? From tw- from 2009 to 2019 was they strong as they had ever been. Like like I said, Jack, I'm not gonna argue with you because if you think the P if you think the first three years of the PS3 was better than this, then I uh, that's then not me- what that's that's, li- that's, li- that's literally not what I said. That's right, literally right. not what I said, brother. I said from 09 to 2019 they were at their peak. The communication was on point. The games was on point. The presentations was on point. We don't get no E3 type so, shows no so more. So you're talking we about a ten. 10- Year period? No You're talking more. about a ten year period. They used to do goodwill gestures. They don't do that no more. Oh my God. Oh. I don't know how the fuck y'all are seeing this and saying, "Wow, I'm having a great time right now." No, yeah, that's not the case. It was I better am. before. It so was wait, better you said before. you said twenty. You said twenty. You said you said two thousand and nine to twenty nineteen. A ten year period. Yes. So you're comparing that to four years. You're comparing a ten year period. You to just years? did that. No, Jack, didn't no, I didn't no, I didn't. no, I didn't. No, I asked you, do you think the first three years of PS3? I said the first three years. That's what so, I said. Okay, let me let me let me ask y'all a question, y'all. So BG said, Jack, do you think the the one the one period of time where Sony was doing their worst is better than the time they're doing their best right now? I like, said the first yeah, three sure, years. BG, why not? So, so you to, for you to look like for the for the smart guy, sure, BG, why not? Get the fuck out I, of you. I, know I what said you're the doing, first bro. three years. I know. That's a dumbass question. Look. That's like, like said, me asking you. That's like me asking you. Is your grandma better now when she was striving in her twenties, or is she better now that she's dead? Like I said, you asking a dumbass question. Like I said, Jack. I thought y'all cared about games in the first few years. I, I didn't think y'all cared about the state of the country. I, I, I do. Dumbass questions, I do, and, man. and and I think that the games for the that that's why I always go back to the games because Jack like talks about like Jack talks like we haven't gotten great games. To him, he claims we haven't. Okay, cool. In the last three years, I disagree with that. If you, if he, he talks about last three years like it's the future. That, like, that's what I'd be getting confused because he talks about like, okay, we don't know what's coming next year, but he talks about next year like it's been the last three years. I be get, that that throws me off. You do. You, you talk like we. You talk like we have not gotten no games in the last three years. That's that's how you talk, Jack. I'm not. I'm not talking about PlayStation and the state of PlayStation no more on this fucking pot. I can't I'm, do it, bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. Yeah, you getting a good workout? You sweating? I, I just, I'm I just feel like we. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. I mean, dog. I don't know why you keep talking to BG, brother. He gonna flip flopping. One. I'm not flip flopping. 
Gaming is better than it's ever been. The next second, oh, I wish multiplayer was back when it was in the old oh my days. God. Let I, me address I, some Tarek. Let me address love, some I, Tarek. I love how y'all continue to ignore him. And me, somebody in the chat, some somebody in the chat said BG definitely said the first three years. Thank you. Let oh, me let me let me let me address some Tarek and say he's saying that I just admitted Sony's at their best right now. Financially, yes, they are at their best. If you think their game output is the best it's ever been, you're fucking retarded, and you belong to be committed to some type of asylum. If you think in Spider Man and that's if Spider Man Two is the end all be all for some of you dumbass niggas then so be it right y'all the same stupid motherfuckers when 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 disney went to buy a whole corporation of fox y'all said well at least we get the x-men and mcu now them drop boring ass movies so a spider-man a fucking white man in a fucking skin tight symbiote to this way get your dick hard at night nigga go ahead well no miles is gonna wear the suit so well fuck a, that nigga too and that stupid ass up do he got fuck that nigga too his up like, like I said, um fuck that nigga too yeah listen I, I really think like sometimes I feel like me and Jack are in two different realities because how we see PlayStation is just very no, 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 false. Like, just, so there's only one reality and only one of you is seeing it. Yeah. And I hate I to know. say it, BG, it ain't you. Okay, if you say so, Bond, you also, you know. I mean, you, you used to be, Alex used to be on your squad now. Now you only play, you ain't even really playing VR anymore. You're playing, you using it as a glorified Wii Fit ring. That's not true. And you came and you came to Argus on and tell me that you were here for the weekend. So I really don't know what's up, bro. That is true. You came to Philly. You ain't tell nobody. Like, like, what's, like what's, I, what's going on with you, dog? The um, fuck is going okay, on, BG? Let me, let me ask a, just a true or false question. Oh, here Has we go. PlayStation not released quality, a good number of quality games in the last three years? I just want to yes or no. I, I don't think I don't think let they me, have. Let me I don't look think at they my have. Uh, all right. Then, I don't, then, I don't, I then, don't think then we then we are then we are seeing two different realities. So Bro, there's the nothing best, to argue the best, about. The best game, and I play in Platinum Audio game. The best game they've released in the since launch is is Returnal. God of War. I would say Returnal. No, Returnal's trash. No, you see. Stop you this. Know. You trip. Return, Returnal is the best game. They, and what's funny is is Returnal before the acquisition. That was a dog shit indie cell phone game that y'all not to like. You know what's ironic, bud? Move. You know is what's, Returnal trash? You know what's ironic about bondage. Returnal? Hold on. This is what's ironic about Returnal, right? Jim Ryan also said, we said we're going back to quotes, our new focus is big budgeted AAA games. Ain't it crazy how their best game to date is a fucking dog shit taco truck cell phone game? Ain't that crazy? A game, with some, a game with some of the muddiest wait, wait. textures on fucking earth. Yeah. A game that run in 1080p upscale. That game. How long has PS5 been out right now? It's about to be three, three years. years. This is three years. So I'm averaging one game a year on the PS5. That's yeah, a great, El- great fucking output. I've got Elden Ring, Returnal, and God of bro, War. Bro, bro, bro. This, this, see, this all, is where I get. Three con- of those games can be played on other. On other okay, platforms. okay, okay. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Y'all, y'all have a valid argument if y'all didn't champion the PS4. All right, let me look at my PS4. The PS4 game. released hold on, hold less on, games. Me, it's not even close library. in the first three years. Y'all, what y'all argue? That's where y'all argument falls apart. That's what I keep saying. I, I get they literally called like a year of the like a year and a half of the PlayStation Indie Station and Spar Station because there were no games. So how do y'all champion the PS4 to be this golden era of gaming in the fir- in the first three years? But y'all look at the PS5 and y'all become super critical. That's where y'all lose me. I don't get that. Like, it's, it's not even opinion. We can count the PS4 first party games in the first three years. It's not opinion. We can count them. Then we can you count mean, like, the blow, PS5 blow first game, party the game games in the, blow we can blow, count the blow, PS5 blow. first party games in the first three years. There are more and they are didn't of quality. It, hold on. What are we didn't arguing? Uncharted, didn't Uncharted 4 come out in the first three years? Yes. And PS5 so, still released more first party games. And what Naughty Dog game has come out in the first three years of and PS5? What does that have to do with who put what, which generation had more so far? What does that have to do with anything? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm asking. This. They so haven't they, put out okay. none. And PS5 okay. has still had more first party games release. Bloodborne. And would you rather play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and another game of your choosing or Bloodborne and Uncharted 4? I would rather choose. If you put, if you gave me the the first three years of PS4 and the first three years of PS5, I am choosing the PS5 games. In 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 their totality. Why does why does bitch ass niggas in this Discord? Hold on. 
Who? Hey, if anybody add this water board for hire nigga back in this Discord, you getting banned too. Get this nigga the fuck out of here. I I just I'm like, looking at the dates right now, VG. Hold on. Like I said, I'm ready to move on. I just I just don't get anybody this, add that nigga argument. back to the Discord. You're getting right, banned so, too. Just know that the first the first the first um three. Oh wait, we're looking at PS4, not PS. Okay, 2013, right? 2013. So you had Killzone Shadowfall, Knack, Rezogun, mm-hmm. Gran Tur- Gran Tur- you had a Gran Turismo game. Mm-hmm. I guess. You had an infamous Second Son. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I'm not counting PlayStation Pets and Entwined. You see, you see, this this is the reason. Well, there's a, there's the a lot of games here I don't even remember, but they're like new IPs and smaller games. I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off, Bond. You know what people do though? When a new game come out, they don't like the old game no more, right? Yeah. If I mentioned I enjoy God of War 2018, people view it as dog shit trash now. See, when Spider Man 2 come out, you will never be able to say you enjoy Spider Man and Miles Morales yeah. ever again. They, they it's, had, gonna be, had... it's gonna be viewed as dog shit. Listen, oh, what I'm let, me, you. let me let me continue. They had Infamous First Light. They had yeah, Drive yeah. Club. Mm-hmm. I don't really give a fuck about SingStar. They had Little Big Planet three. Like, are you are you sure Sony's? I'm, 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 very I'm sure. looking at this. I'm looking at this list. I mean, I'm very sure. I've already put the list next to each other. I've done it myself. Bloodborne came out in 2015. The Order 1886. I've I've done the list, but like I said, until I'm, until dawn, tear away. Not first party, but yeah. Journey's collection. Tear away is definitely on first party. I was talking about uh until dawn. Oh, until dawn. But they own the IP. The second sure. party though. But like I said, um, Gravity um, Rush. Damn, he's still going. Shit. Yeah, I mean um, they partnered. They partnered with Light Drizzle. Uh, I want to. Interrupt it's, something really. It's, it's been a. It's been a. It, it's been a struggle. Clearly, Uncharted um, Four, Connecticut. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up thing? Go ahead. Fang. The original. The original argument was PS3 P- versus PS5. BG switched up the PS4 to PS5. Just no, e- to either out. one. No, no, because they both they championed PS4 like it was this great era. Also, that that like we've argued that BG, before. BG, but he, oh, he like no, the on, I'm still going. I'm still going. The Last Guardian and the Last Guardian was the last one, 2016. So, I mean, that seems like a lot of first party games I just named. I can't name that many on PS5, to be honest. Because that's, because that's your games fault. Games. Because there are more. There are, they're, 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 they're more than PS4. And, so and there's, what, there's what, only there's what, only three PS5 exclusives too. What's what's on the PS, don't matter. What are the PS5 games then? Uh, Horizon, Returnal, Ratchet. Astro, Demon Souls, uh, Miles Morales, Spider Man Two, because they that only movie landed. Within... No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not counting cross generation games. Oh, so you uh, see, you no, I'm name, not. I'm not agreeing name, with that. Uh, All right, Bob, but I got you, Bob. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hear me out. If I'm counting cross generation games, then I'm also counting PlayStation Three games that came out in that time too. So, so, Bob, you want to talk no. about only this? Okay, so you got Demon <sighs> Souls remake. You no, got no, no. Hold, hold on, hold on, real quick, Jack, because that's fair. If you're gonna count cross yeah, games, I agree. I agree. And I can I count God of War three that came out in 2016, or yeah. any of the other good games that's got uh, 2013. Any other good games that came out in the first three years of the PS4? No. Yes. No. If a, game, if a game comes out on the prior system, like, I don't count it for the new system. I do. Of course, you do. Yeah, it, it just me. It just means the new system had nothing but but upres versions of the older games. <sighs> okay, if y'all say so, if y'all say so, like oh like I God. said, the the first three years of the PS5 better than the PS3 and the PS4. Name, I'm ready, okay, name, I stand name, on name that. Me, name of these games again. So why you ain't want? Why you don't want Sean Layton to come back? What? What is? What is? That he, 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 the, the games you're praising, that those are Sean Layton. Why you don't want him to come back? What does that instead, have to do with my my point is BG? Instead of giving Jim Ryan praise, you should be begging Sean Layton to come back. You realize why? That, right? Why? Because the shit you're bragging about is shit that Sean Layton did. You, okay, you realize that, right? Okay, but why am I going to beg for the last person to come back when 
I don't. There's not like a negative okay. to Jim okay, Ryan. So we haven't this, seen. We haven't seen like it's a bad. Like if 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 Jim Ryan was bad, like objectively bad, sure I would get that. But that okay, has not been BG? proven. All right, BG. Every week from now on, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you credit for some shit you ain't did. So this week, I want to say congratulations on three peating with the Lakers as the head coach. You did Listen. your fucking thing, my guy. Um, kudos, right? I already so said. I ar- no, no. Listen, I already. I know right? th- we're not talking about giving Jim Ryan credit. I already said I'm completely. Fi- I said this in half an hour ago. I'm completely fine with not giving Jim Ryan credit for any of these games. That's not my point. Now I'm saying the PS5 experience has been better. Like this has nothing to do with Jim Ryan. Okay, uh, so if you're caught, the PS5 experience has been better. Dog, I didn't even list the PS4 third party games. I didn't. I didn't list any PS5 third party games either. I literally only went first part. Bond, Bond, Bond. Remember, the, the first three years better, right? But Sony has an award show right now that they don't have no first party games for their oh, game. I, I, I got a question. Oh, <laughs> Which is God. better, the last three years of the PS4 or the first three years of the PS5? Last three years. <laughs> the of the last PS4. three years of any system would be better than the first. Yeah, the three last three years, years of the PS4. Yeah. I agree with that. I don't. I. I but the thing is, isn't the first three years of uh, it's the same PS5? shit actually? It's the same, yeah, it's the same shit. Yeah, same shit. Same shit. <laughs> like. And that's that's like I really think y'all like like I said I think y'all got rose tinted glasses on because like bro do, do y'all you know, not you don't like you don't like you when get old you, you don't like when you get old you no know, SOCOM just, was good no well SOCOM was good so no it's not that's yes, rose tinted glasses that's that's your that's your opinion like oh no, was no, was no. there not like do people forget there was a dry period of on PS4 that was that that felt like you really felt it, it was a desert nigga where did that not happen. Dry- where did such a dry period of PS5? We went from you talking about twenty. Chat. Hold on, I'm not gonna let you get away with this, BG. You're talking about 2014, brother. Okay. In 2015, they had games. Okay, what's my point? The dry period was, was literally le- less than it was a year after the ga- console release. What are you talking about? There was still a dry period. But we're going on. Okay, BG, are you? You know what? Nah, Bro, I said I what say. I'm saying. Ahead, this ahead, is what I'm ahead, saying, ahead. right? Go ahead. I acknowledge. All these consoles have dry periods at some point, but y'all seem to act like dry periods didn't exist before. So let me, I got, I got one final question. I'm gonna be done. Do you consider not having a, a, a great showcase and over, uh, 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 not even great. Do you consider not having, they opened up their last PlayStation uh, showcase with baby steps. Do you view not having a meaningful showcase in well over two years? The last one you even admitted is when they show Wolverine, which was what? Maybe COVID year twenty twenty one. Do you feel like that's reasonable? Is that is that is, no, that, is that okay? I think that's for you? a problem. That's acceptable, right? No, I don't think. So, I think so which one, so which so which 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 draw spell is worse? Not having some since the end of COVID or not having some for a year? Which one would you say is worse? You can have that's a showcase. Huh? A showcase is different from releasing huh? games. Huh? That's different. Jack, huh? you can, Jack, you can have terrible huh? showcases and still have a huh? bet a, be, a good three years. Huh? What does that? What does one have to do with another? Huh? I answered uh-huh. your question. Yeah, I know. I answered uh-huh. your question. Okay, cool. We I answered your y'all. question. We lost him, y'all. This nigga, this nigga lost. Yeah, I know. You, uh, you no, can. Uh, okay, no, Jack. No, Jack. Another, let, another let me, loss, bro. Let me, let me break something to you, Jack. Let me break you something to you. Let me street, break something nigga. to you real quick, Jack. You Two things street, can be nigga. true. Two things can be true. You can absolutely have terrible showcases and also release games. Evidently, I wish, that's I, been I, proven. I wish, I wish both things were true. <laughs> Bro, both things have been true. Yeah, okay. If you, right, you know what, on. BG? I realize. You know what, BG? You play games the same way you watch movies. You have no standards. Nigga. Yeah, That's I know. It. I know. You you literally have no standards when it comes to shit you consume. Your, your favorite PlayStation game is Returnal. That that shit launched buggy. Let's not talk about my taste. <laughs> and, and, and God of War and God of War Ragnarok launched just like 2018. It, it, it's better than Returnal. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a stranger. Oh, I'm it's a better stranger. than Returnal. Oh, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, nigga. Okay. It's better than Returnal. BG saw a wolf get John. He said, "Oh shit, this shit heat." But yeah, I do hate right. half the game. Where, I do hate half the game. We playing as a trend. But N- that, niggas who think Returnal is this like uh, this mind, this mind, mind right. this, this 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 amazing game are, are just hipsters. Y'all are just. Well, hipsters, I remember bro. that. I remember. I remember Returnal fucking clapped your ass when we played. No, the that's game. that's false, <laughs> good sir. Now you're making it's, things up, Johnny. It's, it's it's still up, Kenneth. It's still up, Kenneth. You're it's making cool. things up, Johnny. Go watch the co-op stream me and BG did on Returnal. You'll see why you don't like. That's what screwed me on Returnal was a bug. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the bug of you being ass, uh-huh. nigga. I don't think they can patch that. Johnny, you're fibbing. 
<laughs> no telling lies, nigga. No, no, no. You're you you was ass, nigga. That's that was the bug, nigga. You couldn't do shit. You're fibbing. Yes. The Johnny who Move cried on. wolf. Move on, man. I love you, bro. Let's shake hands. You, yeah. Shake my hand, Jack. You. Shake my you hand virtually you. through the screen. Come on. Shake my dick, nigga. <laughs> Gay. Come on, bro. Shake my hand. Come on. Like gentlemen. Fuck you. <laughs> I have my hand extended. I got something else extended. You don't want to shake it. See, you always being sassy. Come on, bro. You're not shaking it, bro. No, man. Fuck you. All right, let's. We're going to hug it out. We're going to hug it out. I mean, what, what would the show be if me and Jack agreed, right? What would it be? Hey, I'm just tired, be tired of being. I'm tired of being. What would it be if anybody agreed with you, VG? I'm just tired of being right. A better every place. Week, That's all, bro. I'm just tired of being right every week. That's all, bro. You're not. That's it. Listen, like I said, wait. You just gotta wait. BG's gonna be right eventually. You know, we we month, still we still yeah. wait. We still wait. Me and Bob it's, been waiting for fucking since right. we've been doing this podcast, bro. All right. Um, what else was there to touch on so we can get out of here? Oh, uh, did you play Kiss Move new uh that new hotness? No, I didn't have time. I came home. You know. Oh, also, um, yeah, um, Alex, fucking change your name on your fucking Twitter. Oh God. Oh. You want to tell the folks what the issue was, Bond? I need my app. I don't need my fucking Apple Watch at work saying prenup dick, prenup dick, prenup dick. Okay. Are you giving a presentation or were you just getting hot and bothered at work? <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't getting hot and bothered. I was wondering if y'all niggas even work. Y'all be texting all day. We work remote. Yeah. Get in line. Get with it. I lost Get my remote here. I had to find it. Um, K Man, what was the topic you, uh, Wanted to bring up? Was it? Oh, Star, you guys touched on Star Wars? Um, Kotor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw you put it on as one of the topics. Oh, you, yeah. What you think about that? What you think about that, bro? Yeah, I mean, it, it is pretty sus because they removed a lot of their tweets and any mention of the game, but IGN still has the video up, GameSpot does, and I don't, I don't see like a copyright strike for it. I'm honestly just done with the whole thing. Like, uh, I was a big Kotor fan. It was like one of the first like, RPGs I've ever played. And. It's just like year after year of bad news. Um, like there was a remake that was supposed to happen but never happened, and then Disney shut down the fan-made uh, Unreal Engine um, remake of it as well. And then now this is happening where this game is stuck in so, hell. So, K man, you just brought up something that I did not know. So you're telling me? See, since y'all always saying I'm gonna react, to, I'm gonna ask K man again because he's an avid fan. Just listen. I just want y'all to listen and get the hate out your hearts. So K man. The same trailer, correct me if I'm wrong, the same trailer that they just said they removed due to copyrighted music, you said IG and somebody else still has the trailer up? Yeah, unless I checked. So they still got the trailer up and it hasn't been copywritten. Okay, cool. So to me, that seems like somebody's lying, correct? Okay, cool. It continue on, BG. He and your way us. Hey, man, I can't make this shit up, man. Y'all think I be making shit up, man. It's cool, bro. It's cool. But this is the last time you ever talk about Sony, right, Jack? I mean, you know, I'm, I am I would be all right with not speaking on shit they got going on no more. Because I, 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 it, it, at this point, bro, I've just been repeating myself over and over again. You know what's funny, Alex? I can have like mm -hmm. a, a laundry list, a myriad of complaints. And then, you know, I can see somebody say, okay, you bugging with this, you bugging with this, you bugging with that, right? But every mm -hmm. single fucking day, that list gets shorter and fucking shorter. I was arguing with Tarek on Twitter, right? I brought Again. up the <laughs> yeah the other day. I brought up the, the, the deviation situation, the factions two situation. Then I mentioned I mentioned Kotor, right? Before this news came out, he's like, "Can you confirm any of this stuff?" I'm like, "Well, two of those three things are confirmed." And then the very next day. The cold tour shit happens, right? So it's like, mm. what's the point of arguing? Because with every day that passes, I said, get Jim Ryan the fuck out of here. Jack Mo, you don't know what you're talking about. He's great for the company. He's doing it. Now this bitch ass nigga retiring. So with every day, that list that y'all got against me gets shorter and shorter and shorter from the slaughter of the water, okay? So <laughs> I'm done complaining to you bitch ass niggas. It's over with. They were not shorter from the slaughter. Oh, damn, man. Uh, I think BG passed out. He had, he had got it called a dick in his esophagus. That nigga, he short oh, of breath. Well, I, wake up. There you go. Uh, up, I was, uh, no, I was literally I, just I, letting I, you continue yeah, to talk. I, 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 was, I, heard him, I, I wasn't I sure if you was done crying. I was like, what the? I wasn't sure if you was done crying or not. I was like, let me let him talk. Oh, yeah, I'm good, bro. Because, Jack, you know, you the thing is, Jack, you make some valid points, 
and then a you lot. get ex- it's, it's a lot. It's and a lot. Th- it's and a lot. no, but then you get extremely like dramatic and jump out the window with something. It's like okay, I'm a dramatic. I'm a dramatic nigga. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. But like, it's like Jim Ryan just makes you something about Jim Ryan just Can't makes say. you Aww. just 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 makes you, you throw know, out. When when the name Jim Ryan comes up, you lose like all objectivity and start speaking emotion. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's why it's hard to have a conversation about it. Jack, I figured it out. What's up? I figured out why BG didn't want to meet up. Why is that? The simple math, I figured it out because there was two of them and one of me. Mm. (laughs) Somebody would have came up short. (laughs) And you know what happens when three meet? Yes, sir. That's we ain't got to say too. Oh. We ain't got to say too much. I wish Bond would think more positively of his own people. I mean, oh, I think plenty. Fuck? I think plenty positive. I wish you. I wish you would think more um, positive of Jack. Thank you, Bond. I, I love Jack. That's my. That's my bro. Nigga, fuck you. He, oh, what he, I about to say? He, he got his. You know, he he's in his drama queen phase, and I gotta let see, him grow he, out of it. It's funny, man. People say, see. I, the problem is, man, to me, I'm very passionate about gaming because that's something I, you know, I've been gaming since I was like three years old, right? So I, I'm passionate about gaming. The problem is a lot of y'all aren't passionate about gaming. That's why we get shit like Foam Stars coming out. <laughs> that's why shit like Fair Games and Foam Stars got y'all niggas fucking, fucking sweating in your panties, okay? I wish y'all niggas, na- matter of fact, Jim Ryan, see, when I look at niggas like Shuhei Yoshida, Andrew House and all them, even Phil Spencer, even though he kind of, you know, he got a situation going on, I can say, I might not like that dude or what he doing, but that motherfucker right there is a gamer, man. I can see it. I never said that with Jim Ryan. Jim Ryan got a picture of him right now holding a dual six four controller. I mean, the dual shock four controller. He holding that motherfucker. You can tell this nigga ain't never played a game in his fucking life, bro. This nigga's a businessman, bro. That was one of your like BG that was, on the claw. That was also one of your dramatic like statements that like you know when you lose people when you say like when you actually pondered the thought that phil spencer might be a better even though the the the, the positions aren't one-to-one bro comparing jim ryan and phil spencer bro like you, you can't much, because as, because the time there's a huge time difference but if you had to like bro as much as i don't fuck with phil fathead spencer he has done more for xbox fans oh well my God. Oh, yeah, Lord. he has done more for. Oh, no, Lord. he has. He's done more for, than what Jim Ooh. Ryan has done for PlayStation fans. Oh, see, this this is where this is where this is, this is wonder, one of the things where, right? me. This, this is where he loses me. This is where he loses me. I can get on Game Pass right now and play Persona Three Remake Day One. I can oh, play Lies of P right now. Day. Okay, this is my problem though, right? What, 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 what's wrong with PlayStation? Why we couldn't get Lies of P on PS Plus Day One? Why we couldn't? Then see a see a Stars came out on both Day One, right? So what was stopping them from getting some shit like Lies of P Day One on PS Plus? What was stopping them? But instead, oh, they God. chasing game. They chasing games where they chasing games like Callisto Protocol, where the studio's probably gonna get shut down. The game reviewed horribly on Metacritic. I like the game, but still, they chasing shit like Saints Row. Why are Xbox getting critically acclaimed games that PlayStation fans like? Shit like Yakuza, Kingdom Hearts. They getting all type of shit on Game Pass day one. So, why so we not you're, you're asking why you're not getting big first party games in PlayStation Plus. I never well, mentioned. I never mentioned. I never. I game, never. Yeah. I never mentioned the first party game. No, I didn't. Did I say first party? I said big. Yeah. I said big. Oh my bad. I meant you big. Said, uh, you said first party. Okay, big third party games. I mean, big third. I mean, party you're, games the, you're, you're, you're you're raising the price to eighty dollars a year. Yeah, I would like a, a few big games in there. Why not? Oh, because well, <laughs> well, the simple answer. The simple answer is they're not trying to pay for those. So the fact that they want to be cheap dickheads, I gotta suffer. Is what you're telling me. They they not they not trying to pay to put shit. So wait a minute. Let, let me just get. Let me ask you a question, BG. They trying to get us to pay for some shit they not willing to invest their own money into. Jack, the the whole pricing thing. I don't. Yeah, yeah maybe, yes or maybe, no. Maybe, no, Jack. Yes no. Jack, I don't view this the same way you do. The pr- pricing isn't really a, a thing yeah, to we me. Like to where I eight thirty. It's nine four. I like the the whole pricing thing has never been a way I value or evaluate a console. When like, was the last time you played a PS Plus game, BG? Almost never. I couldn't tell you. I don't play. So play, you've PlayStation never, you've never, according to your words, you've never played a PS Plus game, but Damn you're okay. You don't care. You don't care that they're raising nah, the price. But, but yeah, PlayStation yeah, sure Plus, but, but hold on. Never found. I have, but here's the thing. PlayStation Plus has never been something I've really cared about. 
So I don't so care. So I, what I'm saying is, look, look, oh, and, and, and maybe, maybe it's because maybe it's because so I do play on things other than PlayStation. So wait but a minute. PlayStation Plus has never really been a thing I've cared about. So I don't care whether so, PlayStation Plus has good games or bad games. So I don't care. So wait a minute. You haven't. You don't play games online on PlayStation like that. You don't play the PlayStation Plus games. Why are you subscribed to PlayStation Plus? Well, PlayStation Plus was mainly for the multiplayer games that I want that, that I hope would come. That, has, that yeah. haven't came out. Yeah. But if we're talking about PlayStation he Plus, no, he if we're, no, he's not. If if we're talking about PlayStation oh, Plus man. subscription games, I've never cared about that. Oh, okay. I've never cared about that. That's not like, bro. I don't wait. I don't wait to see what PlayStation is announcing mm. at the end of the month. I never have. Never cared. Hey, BG. Question. Question, BG. Since the release of the PS5. Has and I told you, and I told y'all, hold on, and I told y'all the reason, the only reason I even had had PlayStation Plus is because I re-upped on it like mad long ago. No, I'm asking, so, I'm asking are, you, do you, could you have gone this whole generation so far without PlayStation Plus? I feel like you didn't miss out on anything. Absolutely. That's why I've been complaining about it since 2014. Where's the, where's the multiplayer but games you just, at? You just, said, you just said you don't care though. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining about something that you don't care about? I said I don't care about PlayStation Plus, as in the subscription of of library so of games you, that you why get are monthly. You why are you complaining about something that you just gonna pay blindly anyway? You don't give a fuck about. Why are you? What are you? For what it? are you talking about? Why, why, what I'm saying is, you you claim to not really. It doesn't affect you. The price increase don't affect you. You don't use the service. So why are you complaining? I, I'm not gonna complain about something I don't care about. That don't make no sense. I don't, I don't, I don't get the. Connection. I don't, I, I just don't understand how you say you don't. I don't understand how you say you don't care about it. You don't use it, but you complaining about it. What? That don't make sense. When was when was when have I complained about it? You just said I've been complaining about it since 2014, BG. No, I've been complaining about the lack of multiplayer games, not PlayStation Plus. Well, you say you was complaining about PlayStation Plus. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, the lack of multiplayer games. Well, he was talking about PlayStation Plus in general. I, no, no, because if you're going to charge people for something. You have to give them software to use it. I don't like. I said I don't I disagree. care. If, I, di I, I, di okay, I disagree. Cool. You know why I disagree? You know why I disagree? Sure. You wonder why I disagree to what no. you just said. You said you have to provide software to people for them to pay for it. You're paying for PS Plus right now, and they don't provide you no software. And you're sure, still paying. It was a mistake. So, so I clearly they don't have. So clearly they don't have to do that. No, they don't have to. You should. You should. But as far oh, now, as like, now we talk now now we talking about what they should do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and like I said, bro, my point my point was you're talking about subscription services and like lies of P and all that stuff. My point was I never cared about what PlayStation Plus gives you in a in, in that library. I don't use it, so I don't care. You're playing lies of P right now. Wouldn't it have been nice to just download it on PS? <laughs> I no, I don't care. Jack, Jack, oh, okay. there, Jack, oh, okay. there have been Jack. Okay, there have literally been games that for 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 one thing. I get sent um, Xbox Game Pass PC codes. I literally give them away. I don't care. I want to, because that doesn't matter to me. I oh, will buy, buy a game. Yeah, you just say you want to buy the games, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, I just buy my games, bro. I don't care about none of that stuff. Oh, that's what's there, up. Bro, that's there, what's there up. have literally been games that I could that I could I have gotten you. for cheaper, but I just buy them. It doesn't I matter to me. That's not, that's not, pricing is not how I evaluate how good a console is or like, that's not something I care about. It's not. Okay. Like I don't care. Yeah. Like one console isn't better to me because you can get something cheaper. So so why don't so why don't you give credence to Jack who primarily only plays on console and only does PC if he has to stream a certain game? Why don't you give his why don't you give his complaints more credence? Because I, I because I feel like Jack complaining about pricing has really No, only... but that, that's that's valid, bro. That, you got them increasing the the premium subscription they haven't updated the ps1 ps2 ps3 games with any real we got seven siphon filters you see what i'm saying like we getting we having to pay more for less shit like it i don't said, matter Alex. i, don't, I matter. don't i don't pay attention to what's in playstation plus subscription i couldn't tell you because i don't pay attention to it i couldn't care less about it like so i i guess that's a place that's that's if you're a playstation only gamer that's something you care about Maybe that's why I don't care, but I mean, yeah, yeah bro. bro I, like I, we, I couldn't, pay, I couldn't tell you what's in any of these subscription tiers. I could not tell you. I have no idea. That's that's fine. It's the principle of if we paying the if we pay it, paying each month the price of an actual full game and they putting us bullshit on a free game. Like, what is the reason? If I'm paying eighty, say if I don't turn my PS on for the whole month, but I'm subscribed, nigga, that's eighty month. That's eighty dollars for that month. 
You see what I'm saying? My, my thing about the pricing with Jack, though, is they, like, I, I feel like Jack is only complaining about pricing with right, the... nigga, wrap it up. It's almost 10 o'clock. Continue this <laughs> after We're supposed to be out of here at 8.30. It is almost 10. Take, handle this in after dark, dog. Oh, hey, shit. Holy shit. literally be the dude that, like, be prolonging the podcast like an hour. Now he want to rush but, us. But, see, you know, the oh, thing shit. is, when I prolong oh, it, I get everybody Lord. involved and we're having fun. Y'all uh, niggas are just riding around the co- carousel Round yeah. and round she goes. And only, where do we stop? It, a 10, 11, 12, 1, nobody knows. Only only Bond could pull it off, I guess. Pause. Um, but yeah, like, listen, last thing I'll say is I, I feel like Jack only suddenly started complaining about pricing, like, in, in reaction to Game Pass's existence. I don't think Jack actually is I mean, bothered I would, I, by the price. I, would, I wouldn't have anything to compare it to. See, but... so. I don't know if that's real genuine like concern about the price. If if you don't complain a, if you don't complain about a price I when mean, the price is there alone, is it the price that bothers you or is it because the, you saw it somewhere else for a little bit cheaper that I bothers mean, you? If you only watch your sports team and them niggas got a losing record, but then oh, you start watching we, we like, not, uh, don't the mention Warriors. sports in front of BG. God damn it. Oh, that's true. But then you start watching other teams and realize, hey, oh wow, that team actually blocks for their quarterback. Oh wow, that's what offensive line play looks like. Oh, they just Wow, I've been I didn't know what I AJ. you don't know what you're missing, bro. How you go come if a if a nigga been deaf since fucking birth, nigga, when they hear mute, like you know what I mean? If you don't know what you're missing, I like, it's nothing to compare it to, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Liza, Liza P went to Game Pass, didn't it? Day one. Yeah, day one. Yeah. And I paid $76. See, this, this is shit. This is $76. Shit. Yeah, this, this is shit we talking about. This shit we talking about, BG. This shit we talking about. So okay, so Jack, uh I I just don't really think you care about pricing all that much. I don't. So, so just ask me this, BG. Would I have rather paid seventy six dollars for Liza P, or would I have rather paid it with a subscription service? I would have took the subscription. Because this is another thing about you, BG. You don't free play games like that, bro. You one and done with a lot of this shit, bro. You could have beat Liza P, got it off the service. You good? You would say seventy six dollars of your fucking money. You good? Bro, Jack, 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 it's not Jack. Even one and done. It's one and refund. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Jack, so you are refund Jack, the game, you, Jack, but now you, you want to buy your game? Well, what the fuck are you but, talking but, about? But Jack, you you also are the guy who will buy three, four, five laptops just for them to die, just to play some PC games. You could have got Lies of P for like long, fifty. Long as long as I long as I get usefulness out of it. I don't I don't really like gaming on PC like that though. As long as I get some usefulness See, out of it. That's I, I'm, not, like, I'm not I'm not getting. See, this is the oh, this is the deflection right there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not getting no usefulness out of PS Plus that I would get out of a laptop, though. I'm really not okay. at all. <clears throat> Let's get out of here, please. Uh, do. I, I, I just want to say I, I love hey, these I'll, great gentlemen. I just want to say with. it's funny as hell when the audience is like, "Oh, move on, Bob, move on," but they listen. They literally listen to the same topic for an hour and a half because we're fun. Now you know what it is. They really just want to see Jack sc- hear Jack scream. That's what it is. Pause. Pause. <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. <laughs> I don't want to hear Jack scream. <laughs> you. Wow. He said it again. <laughs> yeah. he said it slowly. Oh, you got to read. You got to read the super yeah. chat. You got to read the super chats. So. Yeah, read All the right. super chats. All right. Um. Let's see. And the All podcast right. started two hours late, Bond. So of course we're gonna go. It's gonna be later than eight. Yeah, uh, wrestling pay per views and football. On. Come on. Okay. Oh, Hell wow. yeah. Let me, let me, let me, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, damn. I got to go all the way down. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. You got it all the way down. Pause. Stop well, I guess it's, brother, guess it's brother having it all the way up. King Hazy, hit the mm. like button. Uh, thank you, King Hazy. Westside Maverick, BG, you ever going to try Cyberpunk 2077? A chance. Uh, give it a chance on your PC. You, you really big on FPS. Um, try something different. The story ain't long at all either. Uh, he also said, BG, I'll give you $100 to beat Cyberpunk 2077 and speak your thoughts on it. It launched in a trash state. They changed all that shit. Um, I'm going to be real with you, brother. Um, I'm not BG, if you don't want to, I'll play it for 100 Ask if he wants me to play it. I'll play it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to play it, brother. I'm going to be real with you. There's Ask no if chance. he wants me to play it, BG. I'll play it. Alcoholic gamer Malibu Malibu. Sound like that nigga where he's saying, "Are you gonna eat that?" Malibu and grape, uh, grape for loco. Enjoy drinks on me. They still sell those. 
Thank you. They do, but they don't have the caffeine yeah. in them shits. Yeah, those shits used to be dangerous, man. Yeah. Uh, I remember my friend's house, the one with the pool. Got in a hot tub, swimming around. Yo, <laughs> my ass almost drowned that night. Yo. Wow. It'd be wild if a six foot five person drowned. Yeah. All right. Can you um, just stand up? <laughs> Purple Kool Aid came in, said this is the way Cyberpunk should have launched. If it released like this today, would it be Game of the Year, K Man? What came out that, that year? Oh, uh, well, this year or that year? That year. That year. That year, uh, that year was uh, Last of Us 2, which I feel like it would still... Oh, shit. That's a hard game to beat, uh, especially with journos and everything. But if, if it came out this year, I, I still, I'd still say no, because obviously, you know me, BG3, game of the year. Um, but it's still, it, I think it'll definitely get a nomination if it was this year, um, even if it was like that year. Because that year, yeah. Yeah, it, it was just... You, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us Two won it. I don't remember other nominations. You said Red Dead. Red Dead was. Yeah, oh, Red, Red Dead. Dead. Yeah, that was. That was Let me ask you a question, video. Jack. Speaking of Last of Us Two reviews, had we known when the game came out that multiplayer wasn't coming months or a year later, but even like four years later, do you think that would have really impacted the reviews a lot more? Uh, I'm gonna say no, just because I feel like a lot of reviewers don't don't they don't really give a fuck about the online like that. I feel like they ain't play it. Okay. So and they actually they was they was like, oh, it's great that it doesn't have the online. It's going oh let them cook on a single player. Like they was they was dick eating. All right, Jazzy Jefferson, BG about to pull a Tarek and defend Jim Ryan and PlayStation. Uh calling out facts and being objective. I don't think that's defending anyone, brother. Oh I think, shit. Uh, I think Somebody just, said I know. sound like I live in Delco. I don't live in that broke ass area. Uh, <laughs> PlayStation is God. BG, are you going to stream Foam Stars tonight? Probably not. Um, it's late. Living Legend. So, what's up, uh, WWP? Anyone copping copping Red Matter on PSVR two? It's out this Thursday. Red Matter two was fire, uh, and many people that played Red Matter one said the puzzles are even better. Never heard of it, Alex. I've heard, I, heard I know of it. About I'm, it. I'm not checking for it. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's that game that's in space, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm getting that. I'll game. tell you what, I'm sick. I'm gonna be honest. I've played so many VR space survival suspense. I'm, I'm good with that. I've, I got so many of them already. All right. Uh, Relax, Paul. Gaming RPG. I submitted gameplay for Pizza Tower. That's game of the year contender. Yeah, I saw that. I don't. I didn't use it because I. Well, I thought we were going to have a shorter show today, but you know. So, see, I, I, I did too. It's Bond's fault. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and you can't blame Rand either. He ain't here. Oh, man. Uh, Sabby next door. Shout out WWP. Um, gaming looking real good this month. Can't wait for Lords of the Fallen and Spider-Man. Yeah. And Assassin's Creed Mirage. Oh, I will. I will say this. I will be. I will be streaming Spider Man Day One because y'all did show out the first game. So, mm. and Miles Morales, y'all showed out. So, hopefully, this stream will have less bald people. All right, Steve Killer nine nine five two. Why does Pl PlayStation go through CEOs like a Hunts like a Hunts Point Hooker compared to Nintendo? Because unlike our own political parties, white people at PlayStation retire before they become ancient dog shit. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, you know, refreshing every four or five, six years, you know, new ideas is a good thing. Ruffle that my and PlayStation leadership doesn't retire, like leaving PlayStation in a bad place. Yeah. Ruffle Mutts, uh, Sony shutting down Japan Studios is like Nintendo shutting down Nintendo EPD. Japan Studio uh, was one of the studios that built the image of Sony's history. Sure, and they didn't. Y'all keep like talk like giving this studio credit for what they once were, though. That's that's the issue. It's that it's it's a great. It's like Julio Jones in his last year. The nigga was amazing. Like. But, bro, what was he doing in his last years? Nothing. Same way Antonio Brown. So, like, yeah, nobody not denies that, that Julio is one of the best receivers ever. But we not going to, but they're not keeping him on the team for what he did five years ago. And it's the same thing with 
Japan Studios. Y'all, y'all be trying to keep them on the team for something they did mad long ago. Y'all got to get over it. Uh, game inspection. Japan Studios never got the funding other studios had. When they, when they did, um, when they did get it, they made Bloodborne. The game y'all still asking to remaster. Uh, if we being real, like, aren't we giving, aren't we giving From Software more credit for that than, because they were like an assist studio on that. Jap- uh, Japan Studios was more of an assist studio, if we being real. Clearly. I think so. I, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Uh, in game inspection. Imagine if Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Three comes out before Factions Two. Okay, we'll see. Emmanuel A One. The Sony Death Spiral is here. Salute to Jack Moo for being the only PlayStation gamer who's able to keep it real. <coughs> and where is Omega Zio? Can I summon that guy? He got banned on Twitter. He always saying something crazy. Uh, Vaughn Red won. The PS3 in 2009 destroys every year of the PS5 so far combined. Absolutely in- insanity, brother. Absolute insanity. Absolutely not. No. No. Uh, game inspection. PS3 had actual exclusives. It still does. Uh, game live studio. At this point, BG is just another uh, just another clown. Um, you can suck my dick. Uh, <laughs> It makes me question. It makes me question. Does he really play play the game, or just rush rush through it to get stupid trophies that don't mean shit? What are you talking about? What is what is what what is this? What is this monkey nigga talking about? <laughs> this this this. Fucking head hurt, man. This, this dense ass monkey looking nigga. Shut your stupid ass up. Rush oh, through a shit. game, people, bro. People see how I play oh, games. I play damn. games very thoroughly. I get, I oh, get, shit. I get platinum trophies in the games I really care about. Shut your monkey ass up and take your dumb ass back to the zoo. Get back in that okay. encagement, you bozo. Get back in that cage. You call him a bozo. I don't, I don't think you had to say all that, BJ. Get your you, dumb ass back in that cage. All right. Uh, he also said, um, I said it back then. I'm going to say it again. Xbox won this generation, hands down. Soon as Game Pass was first announced, I knew uh, they will win this generation and PlayStation will be in big trouble. Oh, so so clearly this guy is this he's a Dollar Tree gamer. That's that's OK. We all Dollar understand Tree. now. He's a Dollar Tree gamer. He, he thinks that game that Xbox is winning the generation because they're they're giving you games at a at a cheaper price. He's a, he's a Dollar Tree gamer. Shout out to you. Now I know you're a monkey. So. Bye. All right. What the hell? Okay, uh, JMG said, fight, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay. All right, I think that's, uh, hold on, let me double check. Uh, Jazzy Jefferson, Jazzy said, uh, Jack and Bond, y'all notice how the chat loves when you criticize Xbox for a long time, but they switch up when it's PlayStation turn and want, it to, and want y'all to wrap it up? Mm. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, I I hate I hate when I bring like when I bring an Xbox guy on and like no no let's yeah, fucking uh, go bitch that annoys me about the chat I hate when I bring an Xbox guy on and they get to talking and the chat get butt hurt but like if a PlayStation dude comes on and you know be doing the same thing y'all cheer that on y'all y'all yeah that's annoying and then they get they get in, they get in the Just comment be- section don't bring this person back y- y'all know if y'all tell me not to bring a person back on i'm gonna i'm that makes me want to bring them back on more right i just want to put that out there for y'all to know y- y'all you're just gonna make me bring them right back sooner so don't be telling me who to bring on here thank you i right. just be liza p dog i just be liza p let's uh, go purple, cool, purple nice. kool-aid yes, Baldur's sir. gate three or tears game of the year i think it's going to Baldur's gate three Baldur's gate 100 percent yeah, I think. Sorry, Jazzy. Win. Yeah. All right. Uh, outros, Jack. This nigga Bond left. Fuck him. Uh, hey, man. It was a podcast. Hope y'all yeah. enjoyed it. If y'all didn't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, smooth. Good show, guys. I'm sorry about my <clears throat> lack of uh, a verbal. Uh, I've been studying, but check out Jiggy Do Rag. He's on his channel now. So, I th- shit, I thought we, the podcast. Would oh, be you, you uploaded it? it? Yeah, it's uploaded at 10 o'clock. Oh, wait. Let, let that shit ring off. Let, let it ring go, off. Let me go listen, bro. 
New Hitman, Jiggy Durag, man. Tap in, bro. Did did, did y'all? Hey, BG, Bl- let that be, Blanche let don't be got a verse, music. right? Blanche does not have a verse on his okay. verse. <laughs> I, I haven't right. heard Blanche's version yet. So okay. it's just you and Alex. Yeah. Let me share this on the timeline. Right. Y'all go check hey, out that. Let y'all, that be y'all the go... outro music tonight, dang. Uh, can I? I don't know if I. Well, I might be able to pull it off. Um, wait. Okay, Jack. No, Jack went. Alex. Alex, Liza P. He just, he just, he just. He said, said, "What's up? What's oh, up?" There you go. I just be Liza P. Bro, my hand, my hand's still shaking. Okay. Um. Yep. This is uh, what's my name on here tonight? Dre Watson's taxes, right? No. This is Liza P. Thanks for tuning in and keep on dreaming. All right, and K. Man. Everyone has a good night. Thanks for having me on, BG. Some good conversations. All right, we're out of here going to uh, After Dark. Me and, uh, me and Jack are going to, uh, we're going to make peace and we're going to meet in the middle oh. and agree on something. We're going sure. gonna, to gonna agree on something j- tonight, Jack. We got to find something to agree on. We agree on a lot of things, BG. We do. Let's, 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 let's agree on some food. That's probably what we agree on, something, something food related. Let's go. Well, you don't like a sausage on pizza is absolutely asinine. But other than that, you know, yeah, sausage on pizza is, is is poverty. I'm sorry. You are actually insane. This is what I be telling y'all about. Pine up all the way. Damn, okay. legend got banned. What legend do, bro? For real? That boy legend got banned in the chat. Oh, he did. Oh, well. Uh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, we out of here. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace. Plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that want to test it. I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon. Well, name another pot that's big or small. I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section. I'm king of the hell. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon and a scope and all black panel. You can never try playing us token. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at all. <laughs> oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies. God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? So kids move to body you in Halo. Then send your family an angel emoji. Damn. Should've known, dog. You ain't got enough Series X. Is blind, got all the answers. No, you ain't gotta ask Siri questions. All the latest gaming news gotta be here to check it. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that want to test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon World Podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you... You can't all strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.